Today, we're going to look at all the many times I've legitimately tried to light my computer on fire by letting it run all night in an auto clicker. I'm just a simple human being on a quest to make the biggest number there's ever been in the existence of humanity. Today, all we need to do is click on cookies. One click equals one cookie, so far. And that's pretty good because that's about the extent of my abilities. We're just going to keep clicking until we unlock something new and already we have it. For $15, we can unlock a cursor that auto clicks once every 10 seconds. So now we don't even have to do any clicking ourselves and we can buy a few of these. So after buying just three of those, per second we're making 0.3 cookies. But that's definitely not good enough for me. I want this to be making at least one cookie per second for now, which is going to take a few more upgrades. And yes, I still have my auto clicker, but we don't want to get too carried away with that too fast because we already unlocked grandma and we don't want grandma yet. But my level 10 upgrade only costs $53, so just like that we're now making one cookie per second and we don't have to do a thing. So if we want to be patient, we could wait another 85 seconds to unlock grandma but I'm gonna go ahead and click right to her because she's a nice grandma that likes to bake more cookies. So if we click on her, that actually doubles our cookies per second. We're now at two per second. So she's definitely the more worthwhile of the upgrades right now. She's more expensive, but she does way more than an individual cursor. We buy another grandma, we're up to three per second. Plus we could buy an upgrade for our clicker, reinforced index finger. The mouse and cursors are twice as efficient. So that should be two cookies per click. Yes, two per click. So that means we're racking up the cookies very quickly. We've got 250 for the first time, which means I can buy one. Let's call it two more grandmas just for efficient clicking. So we're already up to six per second. The next clicker upgrade is going to be 500, then 1,000, then 10,000. It won't take me long to hit 500. And then that upgrade is going to get us closer to the next one, which will get us closer to the next one. We just passed 600 and we're still going strong. So we're going to buy this. Now we're at four cookies per click. And that rocketed us forward. So now we're at 1,100 cookies, which means we can buy the rolling pin. The next upgrade is 10,000 and we unlocked a new one after that for 50,000 but we'll take the 10,000 one for now and I know this isn't the way the game is supposed to be played but I don't care I want the really big numbers and we're gonna get the really big numbers so already there's 10,000 which means we get to buy the better clicker so my mouse clicks are twice as efficient now that means every click gets us eight cookies so that can buy a few more grandmas and for $1,100 we can buy our first farm grows cookie plants from cookie seeds don't really know what that means but we're up to 26 cookies per second and that means we can already buy our next farm and that puts us up to 34 cookies per second. So every farm gets us 8 per second. And that's going to be a pretty big boost ahead but there's 3700 cookies we're going to spend mostly on grandmas. So we're up to 14 grandmas now and if we spend $5,000 we can make them twice as efficient. And that's what we're going to do because obviously grandmas were put on this earth to work and make me lots of money. We're up to 80 cookies per second. Another 10,000 cookies later, let's see how many farms we can buy for that. We're up to seven in total, 120 cookies per second. Plus, we're gonna make our farms twice as efficient in just a minute. That was quick, so we're gonna go from 120 cookies per second to 176. That's like a 50% increase. And then we're gonna save up for the mine, which costs 12,000. Mines out cookie dough and chocolate chips. And we're making cookies so quickly now that I hardly need to do any clicking. There's 6,500, 66, 67, 6,800. So how many is the mine gonna increase us by? We're going from 176 to 223 per second. So every one of those is about 50 cookies per second. So we're gonna save up another 16,000 cookies, buy another mine, and then I guess another grandma and um, probably just more grandmas for now. And then when I run out of those, I'm gonna buy more cursors until I can buy another grandma. And we're just gonna keep upgrading things because I need something to click on. And another two farms, and they're at level 10 now, and that means we're up to 350 cookies per second. The next upgrade is a mystery and it's gonna cost $130,000. So before we get to that, we're maybe gonna buy a few more mines just because we can still make a lot of money out of those. Mine level five, that means we're at almost 500 cookies per second. My next clicking thing is one we're gonna need for 50,000. So we're gonna save up 50,000 and then this is gonna to add plus one percent of my cps so that took us from eight per click to 12.9 so that's a 50 percent increase and then obviously the more cookies i'm making per second the more i'm gonna get per click and i suspect if this is like all of the other idler games i've played it's worth it to save up for the factory instead of upgrading the mines farms and grandmas we just want to get a factory as quick as possible. If there's the 133,000 we need for one factory, this is going to take us from 491 to 751 cookies per second. That almost doubled my output. Plus that brought my clicker up to 15 point something per click. And another level for the factory. 
is going to put us over 1,000 cookies per second for the first time. So every minute we're making 60,000 cookies. And we have a chance for 55,000 to make my farms twice as efficient. This initially isn't going to make a huge difference, but I plan on buying more farms because of that. So let's quickly save up $115,000 all to spend on farms. It's going to take us from level 10 to level 21. And those actually brought us up to about 1,500 cookies per second. And then let's spend $125,000 on grandmas, which actually means we can get a lot of them. 38 grandmas is more than anyone needs. And it's also becoming clearer to me that the more we level up our individual things, the more upgrades it can get because we've unlocked farmer grandmas. Grandmas are twice as efficient and farms gain 1% CPS per grandma. So that boosts grandmas and farms. That brings me up to 2,000 cookies per second. And things are already getting expensive. If I upgrade anything other than my cursor, it costs $20,000 or more per level. We're also going to get grandmas are twice as efficient because lubricated dentures. And then I'm going to do something probably stupid, but I'm going to spend $180,000 just on the cursor. And I'm going to auto click my way there just because I don't really know what else to do. Which unfortunately didn't really unlock anything new, at least that I can tell. But for every click now, I get 31.3 cookies. And we're up to about 2,500 cookies per second so we're definitely making it at a pretty good rate. I'm gonna work on the mines and factories next and that includes sugar gas because that makes mines twice as efficient. So if I click on that that's certainly gonna help my cookies per second and then we're gonna buy as many mines as we can buy and that very quickly brings us up to 3,000 per second. Zoned out for a second we have 320,000 cookies to spend so let's buy one level of factory the whatever the glowing finger is. The mouse and cursors gain plus 0.1 cookies for each non-cursor object owned. Okay well that's gonna take us uh, up to 3,700 cookies per second. Plus 52 per click. And fairly quickly, there's 1.7 million cookies, which means we can buy the bank for 1.4 million. That's going to jump us all the way up to 5,000 per second. And it's starting to get to the point where it doesn't even feel worth it to click anymore, though I think it probably is. 66 per click. Next, I'm going to buy another factory for 200,000 and then a mega drill to make mines twice as efficient for 600,000. And then I guess I'm just going to go back to clicking for a little while. And how about a level 2 bank for another 1.6 million? That brings us up to 7,700 per second. And then another factory factory just because we can. Next I'm going to buy the gears that makes factories twice as efficient and then we're going to buy a few more of those. That brings us over 10,000 per second. All the way up to 2.7 million cookies now so we're going to buy plain cookies which increases cookie production by 1%. And then this one, which boosted by 2%, which made a small difference, but not a huge one. We still need many, 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 many more, cookies. more cookies. Decided to save up a little bit of money. Now we have 7.2 million. So how many banks do you think that could buy? Three? Three banks. So that puts us up to about 15,000 cookies per second. And 165 per click. This definitely took a minute, but there's 20 million cookies. So that means we can actually buy our first temple. And that's going to take us from 15,000 cookies per second to 23,000 cookies per second second. So now the numbers are going to go up even faster. I mean, we already have enough for another factory, if not two. And since we are making money pretty quickly, we should start upgrading some of our older things because every little bit is going to make a difference. And considering we're making 25,000 cookies per second, we could buy one of these upgrades about every two seconds, at least for the time being. And those upgrades also unlocked more upgrades for things like the farms and grandmas. And things are kind of evenly distributed right now. The temple makes up 30% of my total CPS, the bank makes up 27%, the factory makes up another 20%. So the bottom three are pretty much carrying the load, so I'm just going to continue to upgrade those three. So let's make farms twice as efficient, and then grandmas are twice as efficient, and mines gain plus 1% CPS per two grandmas, so that's actually a really big increase. And how about another bank that puts us up to 6 and 33,000 cookies per second, plus whatever this is. Cookie reduction times 7 for 1 minute. Okay, we better take advantage of this. So, I'm not sure if there's a timer somewhere on the screen that I'm looking past, but we're making a lot really quick. So, while I'm at it, I'm going to try and save up enough for a level 2 temple. Though I should probably be upgrading other things right now, but we'll go for a temple first and whatever we can get after that, we will. Well, I made a choice there. I'm not sure it was the right choice, but a choice is better than no choice. But we definitely got a few extra levels to our bank and factory, and that makes a difference because we're up to 40,000 per second at the base now. Next, I think I want to spend $5 million on Iron Mouse. Clicking gains plus 1% of your CPS. So that's actually going to make a pretty big difference. We're getting almost 1,000 per click now. That's going to add up over time. We'll maybe make our factories twice as efficient too for $6.5 million. That was actually a really big boost. 49,000 cookies per second. And we can even add another factor if you want to bring it up to 50. And after that little upgrade, we're definitely over 1,000 per click. Okay, here's my next fun idea. If I unlock something like this, it says grandmas are twice as efficient, plus factories gain plus 1% CPS per three grandmas. So if I have a lot of grandmas, our factory is going to be even better than they already are. And they make up 36% of our income. So let's do something I've always wanted to do and spend $10 million buying grandmas. We have 50 currently. 
we now have 69 grammas. That was not intentional, but sometimes things just work out this way. Now we gotta save up for that upgrade one more time, but once we do, we'll put 69 grammas to work. And there's the money we need for our super grammas. So once we buy this, we're gonna go from 51,000 to 58,000 per second. Next, we're probably gonna buy something called kitten helpers. You gain more CPS the more milk you have. I don't know how much milk we have now or where we get it really, but that's gotta be a good upgrade for $9 million. Like, is this the milk down here? If it is, I feel like we have a lot of it, but we're gonna make a choice and see what happens. I haven't made a lot of bad choices in a while, so we're overdue for one. Uh, I just clicked on another booster, so we're currently getting 406,000 cookies per second. So before continuing this, let's buy the kitty upgrade and that put us up to 451,000, so that made a big difference. Next, we're just, just gonna save up for the next temple. Even my clicking right now is about 10,000 cookies per click. And we got enough for the next temple, so let's go ahead and buy one of those. That's gonna put us up to 514,000. And it would be really great if we could get another level of temple out of this, and it looks like we're going to manage. We got about 15 seconds left. And there it is, one more level of the temple. And once this bonus wears out, we'll kind of see where we're really at for coins per second cookies per second. Okay, the little bonus is ended. We're sitting at 83,000 cookies per second. Then we can buy an upgrade called Taller Tellers for 14 million. Banks are twice as efficient. Banks are one of my big money earners right now. So if we click on this, we're up to 96,000 cookies per second, almost 100,000. Now it feels like we're starting to make some money, 100,000 per second, which means we can also buy pretty much other upgrades as they pop up. Grammars are twice as efficient. Then we'll get sugar cookies next, cookie production multiplier plus 1%. That brings us up to 102,000 per second. Would you look at that? I stepped out for just a second and that put us up to 67 million cookies. So logically then we're going to buy two more temples, which is going to bring us all the way up to 120,000 cookies per second. And then I want to see what this is. Million fingers multiplies the gain from 1,000 fingers by 5. I assume that's something I'm already using. So that was 10 million questionably spent. And since we're making money and I still want to boost, I spent 12 million dollars on factories, which means I could buy, I believe, five of them. But that brings me up to 132,000 per second. And then next, let's do something stupid. Let's spend almost $20 million on cursor upgrades. This might actually be worth it, but I kind of doubt it. Now I'm kind of debating if it's worth going back and upgrading things like the mine. Because the upgrades right now are only 225,000. So if we spend like 15 million, we'll get 15 levels out of them. And that did bring our cookies per second up a little bit, but not a huge amount. But that's probably worth doing considering how quickly we'll make back that 15 million. So we're going to do that same thing now with the farm. That was a lot of levels of farm. And that should actually make a pretty good difference. So we're going from 145,000 cookies per second to 156. I see one of these again. So that's going to give me a boost up to 1.5 million cookies per second but then also i'm gonna buy this upgrade for 70 million banks are twice as efficient and this bonus is a short one so we're gonna buy some levels of the temple and keep clicking i didn't realize this bonus was that short i would have been taking that a little more seriously but in the end we're left with 35 million cookies at almost 200,000 per second and just because we can we're gonna buy one more level of the temple which puts me well over 200,000 per second the next unlock is gonna be the wizard tower for i think 330 million after that we start getting into the billion so things are gonna get expensive fast and i'm very excited about that because that means we're gonna make a lot more money as it is we're making over a million dollars every second i took just a few minutes to save up 340 million cookies so that means we can be our own wizard in our own wizard tower that's gonna take us from 204,000 cookies per second to 256,000 so that one upgrade was a 25 percent increase so we're making a million dollars every four seconds and that means we can buy oatmeal raisin cookies cookie production multiplier plus one percent the wizard tower currently is making 20 percent of my total cps the banks are actually making more right now so i can afford to upgrade these a few more times that's obviously going to be worth it Banks can make a big difference. Each one of these is adding like 6,000 uh, cookies per second, which is pretty insane considering they're still fairly cheap. Especially when I'm getting over 5,000 per click, we should be able to buy a bank every couple seconds. Though they do get pretty expensive pretty fast. The next one's going to be about $10 million, but that's going to push me up to almost 300,000 cookies per second. And amusing as this has been, we need more grandmas because the more of these we have, the more they affect other things. So we're going from 69 of those to 77. That definitely puts us over 300,000 cookies per second. And then we're going to spend $25 million on factories. That puts us up to 310,000. And then another 25 million on, let's do the mines next. That gave me another little boost, 315,000 per second. Here's another booster that puts us up to $2.2 .2 million per second. And this one looks like a full 60 seconds, so we're going to get our money's worth out of this. And because we baked a billion cookies in total, we are now attracting sugar lumps. Uh, okay, so they gather at the top of the screen under the stats button. You will be able to harvest them when they're all ripe. 
Okay, so we just slowly add up new things also, so that's just fine by me. I decided to just power straight through this bonus without clicking on anything else. That's going to leave us with about 320 million cookies to spend. Now we just need to figure out what upgrades we want, because we've got a pretty good choice of things. We could upgrade the grammars again, and those actually increase my banks by quite a bit as well. Before doing that, we're going to make temples twice as efficient, because temples currently are making up 20% of my CPS. So if we make them twice as big, that's going to take us all the way from 317,000 to 381,000. And then we're going to upgrade the grammars from there, so that's going to take us from 381,000 to 412. And then we'll do factories twice as efficient also. There are 455 thousand cookies per second and i'm just gonna round out the rest of my spending by buying whatever i can and then get back to clicking do you think we get any cool upgrades once we hit level 100 to some of our things i've been wondering that for a while if i want to buy 10 novels of cursor it's going to be something like 70 million dollars so that's probably worth it cursor up to level 100 and we got an achievement but that might be all we got i guess along with the satisfaction of getting cursors to level 100 so that's exciting. Let's give ourselves two more levels of temple since they're doing so much for me these days. Well, let's call it one for now because they get expensive fast. But this next one, plus a bank, puts me over $515,000 a second. That bank actually made a bigger difference than I thought it would. Thus, I better click on this again, which only gave me 2 million cookies. I was hoping for a multiplier. But at least now we're making over a million dollars. We're making a million dollars in less than two seconds. I've also kind of just realized that the grammars by themselves equal 4.5% of my total earnings per second, but their bonuses equal another 10% of my total bonuses per second, so I should probably be upgrading grammars more. So let's spend $105 million on grammars, which gave me another 10 levels, but that probably made a pretty big difference overall. 525,000 cookies per second. Lucky for us, we're making money fast enough that it doesn't take that long to save up another $100 million, which I'm pretty much just going to spend on on banks. So we can go from 17 to 22. So we got an extra five banks out of that deal, which brings us up to $566,000 a second. And there's an easy another $100 million. We're going to spend this one, I think, on factories. So we're going to go from level 29 to 37. So we're up to almost 600,000 cookies per second. And then how about this upgrade? Cookie production multiplier plus 2%. That's going to add about 12,000 coins per second. Cookies per second. I know which game I'm playing. And I've got another frenzy that I really need to take advantage of. I'm currently making 4.2 million cookies per second and I need to get as many as I can. This is a pretty long bonus too, so I'm going to swoop over and buy some temples every once in a while, just because it's going to pay for itself very quickly. Though the individual upgrades are now costing almost 100 million, so I'm going to buy one more of those really quick and then get back, and then hopefully we have enough for one more wizard's tower before the bonus ends. Although I should also be checking to see what other kind of fun upgrades we could buy for this kind of money. But for right now, I just want to focus on making this money. So we're going to be about 400 million by the time the bonus runs out little over even. So as far as upgrades are concerned, there's nothing really that exciting that sticks out to me. So I'm gonna buy another wizard's tower. Combine that with another couple banks and we're at 730,000 cookies per second, closing in on 1 million per second. And that makes me think that next time we'll get into the billions per second. I'm gonna flip coins for 100 trillion dollars starting with this one. Then every time we click, we flip the coin once. If it lands on heads, we win. If it lands on tails, we lose. And we seem to land on heads an awful lot. I'm not cheating, I'm just really lucky. But spending $5 means that if we get heads, we get two coins now instead. We've doubled our production. So this is what I'll be spending the next 12 hours on. But we're now up to three coins per successful flip. Make that four. Now the upgrades are paying for themselves. Five coins per flip. So we only need three successes to get another big upgrade. Just like that, stronger arms again. And once we get to 75, we can flip more coins. We're going to save up for that because that's a big increase. And there it is. Flip more coins. Now every time we click we can flip two. So the earning potential is going to be much bigger now. It's annoying to have to switch back and forth between the two, but seven coins per flip. Make that eight coins. We'll be at a trillion before you know it. We're going to upgrade twice more. Wow, we're getting so far up there. We can get multiple upgrades at once. Ten coins per flip. Think about the income potential. We already have 125, so we can get a greater coin. Plus five coins on every flip. So now we're getting 15, 16 per flip. Per successful flip, that is. So we really cut that in half per flip. So this is three times this one, so it's worth it to get this for now. 21 coins per flip, though. Five of them is $105. So we can earn $100 pretty quickly with a little bit of luck. And that's very important because once we hit $500, we can get an automatic coin flipper. Now I don't have to do it. Okay, I lied. It only flips one side. I need to do the other one. But at least we have that one going by itself. And that quickly earned us enough to get another greater coin. 
nine as soon as that one actually lands on positive. Wow, that's some really bad luck. There we go. An extra five, 26 coins per flip. I can flip more coins again too. So now we can have three going at once. I do need to manually click on two of them, which is a bit of a chore, but it's what I'm here for. We'll upgrade another five per click. So now we're getting 31 per success. Now uh, while we're at it, I'm maybe going to get stronger arms times three because then three successes are 99, basically a full hundred. I'm getting all sorts of achievements. Have no idea what they're for. Okay, we've just saved up enough for knowledge. That adds an extra 40 coins. So we're going from 34 to 74 per flip. But then it's still worth it probably to buy a few of these. Well, maybe not anymore, but now we're up to 84 per click. So now when they're all successful, that's 252 coins. That means I could buy knowledge one more time. So there's another 40 on top of that. So they're up to 124 per flip. But I definitely want to buy another automatic coin flipper for 3,700. The next one is very expensive, but at least I have two of them going. And just because I can, I'm going to spend a bunch of money on greater coins. I'd add an extra 15 per flip, 140. I guess it's only 2,200 to flip more coins. I still have to do two of them manually, but at least two of them I don't. And we could probably afford a few more knowledges. That's an extra uh, 80 per click. Uh, it's about 220 per coin now, so it's 880 if they all are successful. And I think it's actually worth it to buy some more stronger arms at this point. Uh, I just am. I don't know if there's ever a bonus in any of those, but I just spend all my money on that because I can. Over time, that will pay for itself anyways. Like if we let this run for long enough, every one of these upgrades will pay for itself a million times over. Oh, we're up to even 250 per flip now. Yeah, I've officially flipped 1,000 coins. I thought it would be more than that by now. We're doing pretty good considering. Okay, I'm going to buy one more coin flipper for 12,000 dollars uh it's not so bad if there's two or three because it's boring to click on just one anyway i could have some movement and excitement in my life but basically i can go in a nicely timed triangle so three really is about optimal and we've already made twenty five thousand dollars back again so that's pretty wild and since we have so many coins to flip let's just upgrade knowledge as many times as we can that brought us from 250 to 410 which is actually a really big upgrade that's over 50 percent more a few quick minutes later we've broken sixty thousand coins which means we can buy this for an extra 500 so that puts us up to almost a thousand per click 910. I think if we were to buy a few knowledges that would uh, put us over a thousand, they're up to 950 now, so we need to buy one of these and a few of these little ones. Like two greater coins I think is an even 1,000. 1,000 coins every successful flip. So one thing I'm going to do now is buy another uh, auto flipper that's just going to help me move along with less clicking. I have officially broken $100,000 in a bank and I got an achievement for it. And then we're already up to $125,000 so money's getting pretty stupid pretty fast. There's $150,000 which is important because now we can buy higher chance for success. I thought the number was going to be considerably bigger than that though. At this point my money is better served elsewhere because that only gives us a 0.25% better chance. Long term that would be beneficial but I don't know if we can even go long enough to make that worthwhile. So for now I'm going to go for a stronger fist times two and now we're getting how much per flip? 2,000 coins. We've just doubled our output. So now it's got to be big increases to make it worth our while. Uh, we're also going to flip more coins now so we're just going to go back and forth on these three but at 2,000 per flip flip we're gonna make money very quickly and we're gonna do stronger fist again 2500 per flip between the six of them fifteen thousand dollars okay while i'm at it i think i'm just gonna go ahead and buy this now hundred fifty thousand dollars isn't that much money to me anymore the next one is an even more increased uh so depending on the price of those we'll keep an eye on that over time those will be worth it but it needs to take a little time to justify itself i think the next worthwhile upgrade would be stronger fist times two that should get us an extra thousand coins per flip which means 3,500 per success. And that means 21,000 if they all land on heads. Oh, I didn't realize the next automatic coin flipper was only 200,000. So now we have four automatics. Now that I got 330,000, I'm going to increase my success chance just a little more. The sooner and earlier I can do these, the better. Already we have about a 52 to a 48% chance, which is going to add up. That's uh, an extra two flips out of every 100. Or maybe that's actually an extra four flips out of every 100. So whatever the case, long term, that's going to make a lot of money. Okay, I've saved up 875,000, that means we can add 10,800, we'll call it 11,000 for every coin flip, which like quadrupled our output. So now money's going to start to escalate stupidly. We've already made another 330,000 back, which is really, really dumb. So we're going to milk this particular upgrade for a little while. I'm also going to flip more coins. So we're going to go like this now. So now we have even more to flip. Uh, I think we're also going to take the higher chance now that puts it uh, even higher. So yeah, we're getting pretty good with these odds now. I think everyone is about an extra coin flip per 100 flips. I zoned out for a minute, but here we go. Hand injection. So now we're up to 25,000 per flip. So the six of these will give me a $150,000 if they're successful and that can happen in a second which is obviously why the money has quickly gone back up into the millions so we're going to buy a higher chance for success again. We're cheating the laws of reality itself 
by increasing our odds. I've quickly saved up $4 million, so we're going to flip more coins. I'm going to add an auto flipper because I only like to flip three manually. Then I'm still going to buy another hand injection for another 11,000. So every success is now 35,000. Every three successful flips is 100,000. And then for 3.5, another higher chance for success. Now it's about to 55 to 45. So we already actually have a 10% advantage, which is really big over the long term. And the more we flip, the more that turns into our advantage. So let's buy another uh, 22,000. So now we're getting 60,000 per successful flip. Since these ones are 500 per flip, stronger fist, I'm going to buy whatever, just all my money on those. You might as well. I don't know if that was cost effective, but I did it anyway because it's not going to take me long to make that money back anyway. 61,000 per flip. And then after saving up another $12 million, we're going to buy hand injection times three. So we're at 93,000 per flip, pretty close to 100. So we're getting about 800,000 for every successful series of flips. So we're going to increase our odds again. Now we're at 56 to 44 percent. And this little upgrade will push us over 100,000 per flip, 104.2. And then it's time to flip more coins, but with an automatic extra flipper. We saved up another $30 million, so let's buy more hand injections. 140,000 per flip. So let's increase our chances again, 57 to 43. And we just hit $85 million, we get brain power, plus 235,000 per flip which like triples our output. Uh, 371,000 per click, so every three clicks is over a million dollars, which is why we basically already made back $25 million. So we're gonna buy that upgrade again. Then we're up to, I think, 500 and something thousand per flip, 600,000 per flip. So we're gonna increase our odds again at this point, and we're gonna do that again pretty soon, but not before buying more brain power. We need those bigger numbers and we need them soon. 850 per flip. I'm also gonna take another automatic flipper and the ability to flip more coins. So now I've got 10 in total. So that means for every successful series of flips, we get $8.4 million. So we'll take a higher chance for success again. We're now 59 to 41. And the more hands we have, the less I need to manually flip because I'm generally only flipping three manually. So the more we have, the less I need to do. Like already, I can just sit back and drink coffee and buy brain power once in a while, which just puts our earnings higher and higher and higher. We're now up to 1.08 million per flip. And at this rate, these upgrades are buying themselves very quickly. We can also get potential lucky coins now. We have a 0.5% chance of getting a coin that gives us five times the earnings. And of course, we'll buy that right away because the sooner we buy it, the more flips we have in the future to take advantage of that five times earnings and that's going to happen one in every 200 flips roughly so that's actually going to be fairly frequent at the rate we're going and then we're going to take higher chance for success as soon as we flip just a few more times we just saved up another half a billion dollars so we just need more brain power which means every successful flip is 1.5 million we're nicely set up for the future we've officially hit billionaire status and that's especially exciting because now we can buy explosive flips each one of these is going to add 18 million coins to every flip so we're going to go from 1.5 up to about 20 million per click <laughs> So that's a colossal upgrade. Like we've already earned back 600 million. We just spent 1.2 on that upgrade. So it took us less than 10 seconds to earn that money back. So that upgrade was well worth it. And now we should be able to afford lots of other upgrades. I literally just sent a text and I have $3 billion. So we're going to buy explosive flips again because we've basically doubled our income again. Then I'm going to spend lots of money on higher chance for success. We can afford to uh, make that three of those upgrades with a few clicks. So now it's 63 to 36%. Uh, we'll also also take an automatic coin flipper which means I can afford to flip more coins so now the whole thing looks something like this but the money is absolutely absurd especially because I could buy explosive flips again already so we're now making 55 million per flip 20 flips gets us 1 billion dollars so we're quickly getting into the billions which means we can buy all sorts of things we're going to get another automatic coin flipper and the ability to flip even more coins again which is a really awkward one to flip manually and I bought another higher chance for success and we're going to get lucky again there's a one percent chance for lucky coin so one in a hundred gets five times earnings which is 250 million dollars or a quarter of a billion that was until we hit this and now we're getting even more per click I feel like we're really hitting an escalating curve here because we're going to get higher chances for success again that was only 10 billion this one's only 20 billion we're gonna make that in like two minutes just like in real life am i right okay we're gonna buy explosive flips each one of these adds 20 million per flip and we're gonna do that three times that's about 60 million extra per flip so yeah we're making 130 million per flip mm, we'll do that one more time because then we're pretty close to 150 per flip and it's a little easier math that way we're also gonna buy another automatic coin flipper which brings us up to 10 10 automatic coin flippers if they're all successful they get 1.5 billion dollars and they're often successful and since we're at 150 million per flip let's buy this hopefully three times and then they'll be closer to 200 million per success well 199.55 is pretty close to 200 million per flip so what do we think happens if we spend 350 billion dollars on explosive flips well we go from 200 million per click all the way up to 320 
340. So we didn't quite double our output, but it was pretty close, and that'll get us all the way closer to hydration. Oh, but also higher chance for success times two. Eh, maybe times three. A short little break later, and we're officially a trillionaire. So we're gonna buy some more upgrades that take us from 340 million per flip, all the way up to 1.5 billion. 1.5 billion every time a coin flips. I'm also gonna buy another automatic coin flipper and a higher chance for success times two. We now have a 70% chance to hit heads, so seven out of 10 flips is 1.5 billion. And it's taken no time at all to afford the next hydration upgrade, so that puts us up to 2.05 billion per coin on heads. A few more minutes later, we have 68 trillion dollars. That means I can buy a strange potion, which is gonna increase my income by 22.5 billion per. So we're at two billion now, that's a massive increase, 25 billion per coin, which means that we're very quickly gonna make money back. Uh, I will take another automatic coin flip. That means all of them are automatically flipping at this point. It's only 8.5 billion to flip more coins. So we'll take a few more of those and a few more automatic flippers. Uh, we're also gonna take a higher chance for success. That's uh, only a few trillion dollars, so we'll buy at least a few of those. And we're going to uh, also get one more of those again. Now we have a 74% chance, basically three quarters. Three quarters of the flips are wins. And I guess we're going to get lucky also. 2% chance now to get five times earnings. Uh, let's also flip more coins, I guess, times two, just because we can. Now we have a lot of coins flipping, making us a lot of money. We're well into the trillions. It only takes 40 flips. To get us a trillion dollars. And after sitting for a few hours, we're up to 11 quadrillion dollars, which can take us from 141 billion coins per flip all the way up to 941 billion coins. Well, let's make it 1.3 trillion per flip. So the money's obviously going to go up pretty quickly at this point. While we're waiting, let's buy another automatic flipper for almost one quadrillion dollars. Also, we're going to get a higher chance for success a whole bunch of times. Now we basically have an 80% chance to hit heads. So four out of five flips is a winner. Since we really quickly saved up another five quadrillion, let's add another 400 billion, which takes us from 1.34 trillion per click to 1.74. I guess since this is only 500 trillion, we might as well buy one. Now we have a 3.5% chance to hit a lucky coin. And a little while past that, we have 30 37 quadrillion dollars, which is enough for the handshake. That adds 14 trillion dollars every single flip, and that takes us from about 2 trillion to 16 trillion every single flip. So our income just went up really, really big. While I'm at it, I should probably buy a higher chance for success again, and maybe another automatic coin flip. Now all of these are automatically flipping. Now the money's going up nice and quickly. A quadrillion doesn't take very long at all for us to make, which is great because we can keep upping our chance for success. At this point, I don't even think it's worth it to flip more coins because I'll have to do it manually, and I would only get one more to the like 20 we already have. Such a small percent, I don't care. Though I should probably buy more hands because of this everything is doubled successful flips are worth two times value lucky coins are worth 10 times but that means i need to max out this and i'm not sure how far we have to go to max that out but apparently it's further but now let's double our income again we'll go from 15.5 trillion per second to 30 trillion per second flip whatever it is i guess it's a lot higher than per second it's per flip and there's a lot of flips happening we can still take a higher chance for success that's getting pretty high now it feels weird to think about the fact that they used to have a 50 50 chance now they have like over an 8 out of 10 chance to be good there's another easy 50 quadrillion dollars so we're gonna buy another handshake okay this is starting to get ridiculous we've made over 100 quadrillion dollars and that took no time at all so we're gonna buy another handshake which puts us at the 56 quadrillion dollars per flip and maybe one more 70 trillion coins per flip. So that means it takes like 15 positive flips to make a quadrillion dollars. And with all these coins, that doesn't take long at all. That definitely does make me wonder, we'll buy another automatic flip, how many more of these hands we can have. So we can afford to buy a few. Maybe it goes up to 21, because 21's considered lucky or something. Yeah, there we go, maxed out. We have four of them that aren't actually flipping. We can manually do them, but that does mean we can get upgraded coin flips, which double our income. Or it doubles the income for one of them? I see, so this one makes double income now. And we can buy double income for more of them. It's kind of cheap at this point, really, so... And let's buy another handshake that'll take us from 71 trillion to 85 trillion per flip. The upgrades just keep buying themselves faster and faster and faster. The next one does cost 150 quadrillion dollars, so that's expensive, but we've already made another 13. And a higher chance for success? Now they're at an 84% chance, almost an A. I could almost use Master Flipper to get this up to an even 100 trillion. Ah, uh, actually, it was pretty close, 99.94. 100.34. That wasn't at all worth the cost. 
but we did get up to 100 trillion coins per flip. Then let's get a third lucky coin. So now this one has double income. A few more minutes later, 1.5 quintillion dollars, which for those of you that can't do math, it's a lot. Basically, it's 1 million trillions. And with that, we can buy high five, which is going to put our income from 100 trillion coins per flip to 450 trillion. So that's four and a half times our income. And it was already pretty high before that. So we're going to make a hundred quadrillion dollars every few seconds, really. So we can get a higher chance for success a few more times. Easy enough. We can get lucky a little more. We can do an automatic coin flip again. And I guess a few more upgraded coin flips, probably two of those. Now we have five of them on double income. So these ones actually get nine hundred trillion dollars on every successful flip if they're gold. And since we still don't have enough income, one more high five to take us some 450 to 800 trillion coins per Per flip that essentially doubled our income again throughout this entire journey so far we flipped 220,000 coins so i think we've made our point and made a lot of money we're gonna leave it off here with about a quintillion dollars we'll come back in a year or two today we're collecting time and my goal is to collect so much time that we break the universe entirely in other words we clicked 100 times we could buy a sundial so now we get 2.1 per second without me having to click and if i bring up the menu on the right we can spend 15 dollars i can increase my power of clicks and i can do that again already so we're four per click we already made another hundred dollars and then when i touch some of the floating things going by we make more money so we're going to get 10 time bucks per second the terms in this are going to get really confusing whatever the case we're making 22.4 whatever's per second 22.4 seconds per second we can increase the clock speed by 50 percent as well. I'm not really sure if that has a big change on things. And since I'm doing a lot of clicking, we're going to increase the clicking by two. We're getting eight per click at this point. Okay, every time the bar at the bottom goes by, these show up and that's where we get our money. So now we're making 43 per second and we've got a lot of time pieces to go through. We're only on the hourglass. And I just thought that there's an achievement for 1000 clicks, so we should be there before you know it. Also, since I'm going to be doing a lot of clicking, we're just going to keep increasing the clicking 16 now. So it's pretty quick for us to make a thousand dollars. And we pass the thing again, another $2,000. So we're going to spend that on an hourglass or two. Now we're up to 63 per second without me having to click. Well, at least now we're skipping like a quarter of the clock at a time. I guess it'd be the equivalent of 16 seconds. And we can increase clock speed again for $4,000. I'm still not really sure what the point of that is. If it makes uh, the per second thing go off more often. Which would be perfectly fine by me. Uh, especially because these things are going to get expensive. That's getting into the like septillions. But I've got time if you do. Maybe I should play with the sundial for a second to see if there's any bonuses at 10 or anything. So 9, 10. There's not. If that's okay, we got a few extras per second. If we buy a few more of these, actually we're getting close to 100 per second. And after this, we actually will be 100 per second. So then as I click away, we're saving up the $10,000 we need for whatever a water clock is. And our meter filled up again. There's another 2,000-ish dollars. And that's actually enough for the water clock. Now we get an extra 120 per second, so we've doubled our uh, earnings. Next, we're trying to buy a fire clock. I don't know what a fire clock is, but if that's a real thing, can someone send me one? Oh, and there's 100 clicks, 1,000 clicks. But we are now getting 32 per click, so we're saving up the money pretty quickly. We're already at 22,000, so I'm going to buy another one of these. That's going to give me like a 50% income boost. I just don't like having things there that I can buy that I don't. I'm a clicker by nature. Uh, and I can use my auto clicker, which does make it go a lot quicker. So we might do that a little bit at some point. And these showed up again. You can just see my auto clicker going. It makes a different sound when I'm on the edge. Okay, when I click this fast, it makes the clock go really quickly. So I get lots of bonuses. So it does actually make me think that this uh, makes the bonuses happen more often. Because I think it's just a matter of circling the clock. Maybe every hour we get a bonus. No, it's more than that. So I don't know. But I think the faster the clock goes, the faster we get these bonuses, which help out a little bit. They're not huge. But we saved up $50,000. We can buy another uh, the power of clicking. So we've doubled our clicking power to 64. So even without the auto clicker, it moves pretty quick. And I guess as long as the water clock costs less than one fourth of this, it's worth it to buy. Math is fun, kids. So we'll do one more of those as soon as we can afford it. Now four of those at that price would be about one fire clock, so we could probably buy one or two more to justify it, but then it'll get too expensive to be worth it anymore. They give you 120 per second, so I'm actually doing this wrong. Fire clock it is, we'll just go ahead and auto click our way there. But we're up to $705 a second already, so that's moving pretty quickly. And these bonuses got bigger, I think I got an achievement, so then now they give us about 900 times 5, so 4500. But we're definitely able to afford the fire clock. So that's going to give me an extra thousand per second. So we went from 700 to 1700. Uh, another bubble sim clock just gave me about 10,000, 2000 each. So I don't know if those are upgrading with my clocks or how that works. 
2150 times 5 so that's starting to be pretty good earnings we're also going to increase the clock speed again look at it go now by the end of the clock's going to break it's going to be spinning so quick look at all the bonuses we're getting and then taking along there's another fire clock so that's roughly 50 percent more earnings which is huge and at this point it's worth it to save up straight for the pressure gauge because that's going to give me 5,000 per second I could buy two and a half time clocks that would give me two and a half thousand for the same price. Oh, and thanks to my auto clicker while I was explaining that we saved up enough, so 2,700 to 7,700 per second. Suddenly it feels like we're cheating because we're making so much money, but I'm not going to complain. I'm just going to keep doing this. Uh, these things are now worth about $10,000 each. We'll get $50,000 every time we get a bonus. And apparently so far we've gone through two days and 12 hours. We're also going to increase our clicking power by two times, so now we're getting 128 per click that quickly. Uh, at this point, I think it is actually worth it to buy more pressure gauges. They're one third of the price of this, and they give you one half the value. 13,000 per second currently. We're going to buy that because that's reasonably cheap still. Then the clock's going to move even quicker for even more bonuses. And then it's time to buy another pressure gauge, and now I think we're going to have to start going for these pretty soon. Because if we can't buy three of these for the price of this, it's better just to buy the round wall clock. And I mean, it's only 750000 so why would we not buy that? We're making that very quickly now. Even the bonus gives us $100,000 and even more now thanks to that. $30,000 a second. So even though it's regular clicking, we've made a million dollars in no time at all. So we could buy another one of these for sure. Now up to 40000 per second. I decided to go for a swim in a pool of coffee for a few hours. We have $307 million. So the first thing we're going to do is increase our clock speed and bubble bonus. And then also increase our clicking by two, let's call it four times. Mostly because the next one is 150 million, but now we're getting 1,000 per click. And we're going to buy some round wall clocks, and that's going to put our earnings up to 70,000 per second. But because we're so rich, we're also going to buy an alarm clock. That's going to add 120,000 per second. So that's basically tripled our income from that point. Okay, I'm going to increase my clicking power by two times again, because that's going to be my bread and butter for a while. 2,000 per click. And then even faster clock speed times two. Look at it go now. Then we're just going to go ahead and buy a square wall clock because we're going to buy two of those. Now we're up to three million a second. And that's all I've ever really wanted. Millions of dollars per second. I'm a simple man. And that's quickly gotten us enough to buy yet another wall clock. So 4.6 million per second. And if I'm auto-clicking, you can just watch the many go up. There's 61 million, 66 million. We're getting like 5 million a second. Plus all these, which are now up to uh, 30 million dollars themselves. Okay, I guess we'll buy the better bonus bubble thing. I assume that's there for a reason. It's got to be worth it. Then more clock speed again. Look at that thing go. I want these hands spinning so fast it flies off and breaks. Okay, now we're getting 7.4 each bubble. So that was, you know, almost 40 million dollars. And we're going to buy another wall clock times two. We're making money so stupidly quick. But it's definitely going to be worth it at this point to buy the next one. 50 million per second. We're only making 7.6 currently. I'm not really sure what just happened to my clock, but it ch changed to this one. I'm not going to complain. That's a new visual to stare at while I endlessly click. We're going to buy the timer now. 50 million per second. So we just multiplied our earnings by like 7-8 times. Which means when we click on these now, wow, that's almost 500 million dollars. 1.1 billion. We're officially billionaires, which means we get more clicking and more clock speed. <laughs> Look at that clock go now. The minute hand is moving faster than the second hand used to. And we're getting 4,000 per click. Which, now that I think about it, is nowhere near the amount we're making per second up here anyway. Even if I manage to click 10 times per second, that's only 40,000. This is 57.6 million. So I'm probably not going to be doing this clicking. I'm more just sort of supervising at this point. But I'm going to buy more timers. Times two. So now we're up to 160 million per second. And look at that clock go. And we're making a billion dollars every 10 seconds or so. So that feels pretty good. I guess for the $5 billion, we're going to increase the clock speed another 50%. And now the second hand is warping around. Oh, I guess the clicking does get us a bonus at the bottom. So maybe that's how we justify it. Because if I use my auto clicker, that goes along. Then the bubbles are going to show up. And then they're going to be worth 200. So we get 1.25 billion there, which still isn't much. I mean, if we keep, keep increasing the clicking power, maybe eventually it'll sort of catch up. But right now it's hard to justify. That's only $8,000 per click. But all we have to do is zone out for like two seconds. And then we have the $8 billion we need for a wristwatch, which is going to add 750 million per second, which is like five times what we're getting now. So we're basically at a billion dollars every second, just under. So we can already buy another wristwatch that basically doubled our earnings. And I know the time is going quicker and quicker, but we've played for over a month so far. Uh, one month and 46 days, uh, if I'm reading that correctly, which seems odd when I say it out loud. But who am I to complain? I don't know anything about anything. I did just increase my bubble bonus, so that's now worth, wow, about $15 billion. I'll take that. More wristwatches. More wristwatches again. So each wristwatch costs $16 billion. That takes four seconds. 
I mean, they will get more and more expensive, but I'm just going to auto-click this for a sec, and then this, and then this, and then all of these, and then auto-click myself backwards for a second. That actually kind of seemed to spawn more bubbles, so buying these will actually spawn these, which is kind of worth it, because that was like $100 billion just from clicking on this thing, and this thing, so these really pay for themselves. Um, I think I might have found an exploit, because this seems unreasonably unfair. Now it looks like a helicopter. Let's spend 151 billion on these are cheap, and then we watch the bubble party go. So we click on them for 50 billion dollars. So the basic upgrades are now into the billions, with the exception of this one at 265 million, but we can still click on that a few times for some bubbles. And that gives us another 50 billion dollars, so I think that more or less pays for itself. We'll take more clicking power, so we're up to 32,000 per click. Still not great. Oh, the cuckoo clock is only 40 billion. Didn't realize we were already there. Uh, that's giving us 4 billion, so we're now making 14 billion a second. The clicking really doesn't do anything. It makes this shake, it makes me feel good, but it's not really making a difference money-wise. But we can increase the clock speed by 50% now that Minute Hand is flying. Uh, we're going to buy some more cuckoo clocks because that's going to help our earnings in a big way and we get more bubbles. $250 billion from those, which means we bought more cuckoo clocks. And then we're going to spend the remaining money on whatever is the cheapest upgrade for now because that's going to get us closer to more bubbles. Okay, we're going to buy more clicking power again. Not sure why, but like I said, I just like to click on things. And more cuckoo clocks for a second. Those take big bites there. $63 billion every single second. That's not bad money. Which is push us up to 1.5, I guess, quadrillion? It's really trillion, but we'll just go with Qs. 80 billion. Now we're making 142 billion every second, so it takes us like 6-7 seconds to make a Q or a trillion dollars. We're going to get faster clock speed. So we're going through the days and months pretty quickly now. We're going to buy into the fireplace. Uh, that was like a 50% boost to earnings because we clearly needed the help. We're going to do that again. That was like a 30% boost to earnings. Whatever the case, it's $302 billion a second. It takes three seconds to make a trillion dollars, also known as 1Q. I'm going to increase clicking because it doesn't seem that expensive anymore. So we're now making 131000 every time we click. And then I'm going to buy more fireplace clocks, just because I can. Now it takes less than two seconds to make 1Q, and that's going to add up a lot over time. It is starting to take a bit of time to save up for these. Like this is 50 Qs, this is 1.7 big Qs, and they just get bigger and bigger from there. But we got some more bubbles. Those are worth 5Q by themselves. And that's where the auto clicker can come in and help us with that bubble bonus of ours. Because it only takes a few seconds to get that. Uh, we're already a quarter of the way to the next one by the time the bubbles even show up. There's another 5Q. And the money value here really doesn't make any difference at all. But there's enough for the pocket watch. We get 3,600 time bucks. I, um, whatever. It's a big increase. Or something? I'm not really sure what that did. Is this one just broken? I feel like it didn't actually increase anything. Uh, I, unless it helps our bubble bonus. I guess we can spawn one of those and see what happens. Okay, there's our bubble bonus. What are we getting here now? 1Q, 1Q. So that didn't actually change. So I don't really know what to do with this because it's only 3,600 time bucks. I, these are apparently all time bucks, but 3,600 isn't much against a 40, 542 billion. So we'll increase the clock speed for now and maybe, I don't know, power of clicking. Then I guess I'm going to try and save up for the long case clock because that's going to be the kind of money we need. So here's the deal. We've saved up 434Q, which is about a quarter of what we need for the long case clock. That took a long time, so I'm going to buy... I don't really want to buy that because I think that's bugged. So we're going to buy as many of these as we can to hopefully get our earnings up there a little bit higher. Uh, these also get us uh, 20Q now every time that lands, and we're definitely making better money. But it's still going to take a long time to make the 1.7 big Q we need. It is month 2042, and we have the money we need for the long case clock, and that's going to boost my earnings by like 100 times. To sort of put that into perspective, we basically already made the money back in a few seconds that it just took us a long time to make once. So our earnings have just gone absolutely bananas, so in saying that we're going to buy a few more of those long case clocks to make even more money again. So we're up to 290 uh, Q per second, which is, I think, quadrillion. It's a really big number, that's all I know. And to get the next upgrade, all we need is 50 Q, which isn't that many. And the bubbles are now getting us 560 small case Q. Uh, let's also increase the bubble bonus a few times. Uh, well, the clock speed for sure. <laughs> that thing's going crazy. I've gone back to the original clock. Not entirely sure why, but I did it. We're going to buy more long case clocks. That got us more bubbles, which are now worth 1.3 big Q each. And it only takes us two seconds to earn a big Q at this point. So our earnings are just going upwards exponentially. And we just broke the 50 uh, Q that we need to buy the street clock, which is going to get me 2 Q per second. So... That's actually a huge increase. We're now making about five times as much. 
Five times earnings is a huge jump, so we're going to make the clock even quicker a few times. We're on month 3000 pretty soon. We're going to increase everything we can. 4.1 million per click. Uh, the clicks by themselves still aren't going to make money. I doubt they ever will, but they'll get me the bubbles, which get me 25 big Qs. So I'll buy another street clock, which didn't quite double our earnings again, but pretty close. Every time we click now, we're going through apparently three months worth of time. So if we go like this, yeah, we're going to go through light speed. And there's more bubbles. We're now getting 50 big Qs every time that happens. So let's increase the clock speed again. And probably increase our street clock a few more times. 8.5 big Qs a second. And so it only takes like 10, 11, 12 seconds right now to be able to afford a new upgrade. And I kind of forgot there was a two times bonus thing we could have been utilizing this whole time. So I've gone ahead and initiated that now because <laughs> look at our earnings go. So that means we can buy a few more street clocks for sure, which pushes our bubble meter way up and we'll finish it off with that. And now the bubbles are worth 50 big Q each. So if we use our auto clicker, we'll get more bubbles and that's just going to do good things for us. 1S, 1.1S. And I think after this little herd of bubbles, we're going to have about enough to buy the mightiest of clocks, Big Ben. And that's going to give us a crazy boost in earnings again. 260 big Q, so we make 1S in less than 4 seconds. So we're going to make the clock even quicker several times and then get me a bigger bubble bonus. And bubbles are now worth 630 big Qs each and we're running Big Ben's quick. This auto clicker sure makes things easier. Considering we're making like 1 septillion dollars a second or something currently. We made 40.5. 41 S's, so let's buy some more Big Ben's, and that's going to push our earnings way up again. We're now making almost 2 S's per second. And bubbles are worth 4.1 S's each, so 20 S's every time we get a bubble bonus, which is often. We'll make the clock quicker, and we'll increase the clicker a little bit. But I think we're not done there. I'm just going to auto-click Big Ben. I don't know how many that was. 2.4 S's a second, which it should be more than enough to get us to the digital watch. I did another 2 times bonus, so for now we're... Earnings are inflated, but we're going to buy Digital Watch. We're going to go from 4.8S to 20.8S, so that's like five times earnings, which means the bubbles are now worth a lot, 125Ss. And the bubble bonuses are coming around quickly. We're going to spend a little bit here, so now we're making uh, 69 million Ss a second, which is definitely pretty insane. I'm definitely trying to take advantage of my two times earnings right now. We're going to do the bubble bonus. We're going to get the clock speed a whole bunch. We're going to buy more of those. 100Ss a second. So it would only take 100 seconds to afford this smartphone, which is the next upgrade. Uh, the bonus wore out, so double that time, but still not long. Especially when I get another bubble bonus, but also buy more digital watches. That many. We basically just double our earnings again. But the bubbles are now worth 254 S's each, so 1.25 big S's every time the bubbles appear. A few seconds later, we have enough to buy a smartphone, so that's going to get us 600 S's per second. So that's seven times our earnings from where we just were. So we can already afford basically another smartphone upgrade already, and it's only been a couple of seconds. That number also went up in a big amount. There's another smartphone <laughs> times two. So their earnings are just kind of running away on themselves. We're going to upgrade our clock and our bubble bonus, and we're going to buy more smartphones. Pretty much just going to let the auto clicker do the work. But we've also gone through 112,000 months at this point. So that number is also going up sort of ridiculously quick. We're officially at uh, six S's, big S's per second. And you know what? Let's spend another 450 on smartphones. That was pretty much all the way to the next upgrade, but I wanted to see what it would be worth. Uh, you know, there's 35 S's a second. Uh, I think I broke the thing because it's not really giving me a currency anymore. It's just 1.7 vaguely whatevers. Oh, we can buy the fitness bracelet though. Didn't realize we already got there. That's going to give me five big S's a second, which is a massive, massive increase. I'm starting to kind of lose like the scale for how big these numbers are, but they're just really, really big. So we're about to get uh, one whatever unit is it doesn't show anymore. We need 300 of those to get a smartwatch. I like how we just go so far. It doesn't even give you a valuation anymore. Just 2.2 something enormous. But we can increase the clock speed for sure because I don't know what that does to be honest. But it does something. Mm, this last upgrade is going to be a little bit hard to get. But we're going to buy some more fitness bracelets. That didn't even move my thing. Wait, am I reading this right? 35S, is that a big or a small S? Is the smartphone actually better? Yeah, okay, the smartphone's apparently better because it's seven times the earnings here for some reason. I don't really know what to make of that, but I don't really care at the same time. Let's just go like that then. That's just going to help us along. We're going to auto-click that. Plus, it's going to get us... Wow, we can buy a lot of those. I think the price maxed out, so I think we can just kind of endlessly buy these. And because the price is maxed, they pay for themselves like instantly. So that's a bit of an exploit, I guess. More time, more bubbles, more smartphones. Bubbles, time, and smartphones really are all you need in life anyways. 
Yeah, I'm not really sure what's happened, but I'm not going to complain because we're about to be up to one mystery unit per second. And we've crossed that line to 300 whatevers. So that means we can buy a smartwatch. Which means we bought all the watches. That gives me 12 S's per second. At least I think it is. Could we have afforded that the whole time? Was I misunderstanding that? I'm kind of curious to see what happens once we hit a thousand mystery units. If we get a new letter or we just kind of start over or it just goes into... Okay, it's one N suddenly. <laughs> one N. Which might be no nillion or it might be nothing at all because this game doesn't make sense anyway. But we played through 194 million months to get here, so... There's always that. So here's a fun idea. We click on the kiwi, we get kiwis. Once we get enough, we send this guy into the castle to get electrocuted by lightning. And then we keep doing it. I really like a game with some casual murder. Really has me looking forward to something. But then we can level up the kiwi cursor a few times because we've been murdering people for a while. Now we click and we get three kiwis per click. And that means more murder by lightning. They've even formed a queue. How adorable. And then we can level up other stuff auto quicker. Okay, well, now the murder happens by itself. I don't think I need to click anymore. The timer goes down and we get 15. Click for faster deliveries. Are we bringing electricity to this castle? We're storing electricity in the kiwis. Oh, we can speed up the electrocution process. Now we don't know what to focus on. Oh, I see the more I click here, the bigger the bonus gets. So it sits around 200% at best. But let's level up my clicking power. Now I get 9 per click. So we've also unlocked whatever's over here. So we're going to keep clicking here. And the pile gets bigger and something happens. Okay, that's called the bag stuffer. So that's going to put more stuff into the bags before they get electrocuted, I think. It's pretty expensive to upgrade though. So let's work on our uh, auto clicker for a second. We got two more upgrades there. So now every time the auto clicker goes, 36. So down here, we have piled up about 1,300 kiwis. And each time... When one of the electrocuted idiots goes into this castle, I think we get 25 coins. So that's getting pretty good. If we turn this up, we'll get probably double that. Or they might just move a little quicker. It looks like they just go quicker. So we're getting 25 coins, they're just moving quicker about it. So it's kind of a process. We need to keep this little cave full of kiwis. We need to get them electrocuted nice and quick, but we also need to level up this because it's telling me to. Then when we get 100,000, we get to unlock something over here. But for now, I'm pretty happy just to electrocute them for a while. I can definitely upgrade my clicking power a little bit. I feel like that's going to be my money maker for a while. 13 per click. So in theory, once I have a nice stockpile down there, I can just click the castle because they'll burn through that stockpile, but they'll go through it quicker. So this is probably the most efficient because now they're giving us 85 coins for going in here, which is a lot better than it was. So we're going to turn that into auto clicker power. So now every time the auto clicker touches down, Ouch. 127. And then we'll uh, upgrade the big stuffer as well. I think that's just forcing more inside the little kiwis. Yep. Now they're doing 145 per trip and we need more electricity to get them going. Lightning is a really good motivator. So let's upgrade the big stuffer again because that seems to be very much worth it. Now we'll keep them nice and electrocuted. 265 per trip. So we'll just do that one more, two, three more times, and then it should be getting even more per click. Uh oh, we're burning through the kiwis quickly though. It's starting to get stressful, but 500 per click. All because we're beating the kiwis out of a kiwi. They're actually burning through these so quick, like I can hardly click quick enough to keep up with it, which is an interesting problem to have. Oh, okay. So we have knights now who are, uh, oh, okay. We're going to click on the king. The king came to uh, do something about us and he's dead. And we have 10,000 coins. So we're going to unlock whatever this one is. Uh, that's a delivery speed upgrade. So $5,000 and I'm not really sure what happened. We can go, maybe this holds this number better. Or they just go through that quicker anyways. I'm not entirely sure. All I know is I'm really enjoying this process. So we're going to upgrade the life out of that. Uh, I'm also going to need to upgrade my delivery system here a lot. Because they're burning through my kiwi stockpile way faster than I can give them to them. But now when they go through to the castle, they're going to give us a lot more than I did before. 805. So we also need this jolted. I've definitely created a log jam in the process though. I need to upgrade these guys. So my auto thing is going to go a lot. And that's a lot better. He's now giving us 305. 50 even more now so he's doing 391 now he'll do 495 soon to be 480 so it'll be about 500 per auto delivery i just realized there's a little witch sitting up top perhaps a wizard he's in charge of the lightning so he's got the most important role of all and i really got to do better about keeping the lightning going up here there's always something to click on guys that'll get them moving but we also need this we need more numbers so how many do we get we can get up to 23 per click so that's actually a pretty big increase i guess clicking on the lightning man doesn't really matter because um we can't keep up with kiwi production anyway. 
we need more auto generation. So we're going to spend $5,000 in upgrades. Uh, wow, which actually is only a single upgrade, but that was actually a really big upgrade. Oh, that's because I max bought it. We bought a whole bunch of levels there. So now the Kiwis are going to give us even more on the right. No, actually, they're not. They're going to give us the same amount. We're just putting more into the left compartment. And I'm okay with that. I like that over there. That's where it's going to stay. Still can't really keep up. So let's spend another $6,000 going from $630 to $741 per auto movement. And then I'll upgrade my auto clicker one, I guess. Now this is a little better. They're starting to line up again. So that means we can start clicking up here too to get them going through quicker and then clicking the Kiwi and back and forth we go. I zoned out for a second. My coffee fueled haze. We have 16,000 coins. So let's upgrade again. We're going to get about a thousand per entry uh, over here now. And that's going to help keep me ahead of the little lineup here. These little idiots are working too fast for me. Has this Kiwi always looked this happy? Or is that a new thing? I can't really tell. Uh, we can upgrade this if we want. So they'll take 925. That's not a huge difference, but it's, you know, it'll add up to over time. And time is what I've got a lot of. I think the king is coming back, so we'll click the life out of him, and then we should get a nice bonus. You're not allowed to be here. This is my kingdom now. I own you. And you're dead. Which means we have 23,000 coins to spend. I don't know what this black hole is, but it's really annoying me. Okay, I see how it works now. When I try and get close to it, it disappears. Anyways, we're going to upgrade this, so it's now delivering 1,200. That's about a 20% increase in production. So upgrades are definitely getting expensive. I can upgrade my cursor to have double the output, so we're just going to do that right away. 51 per click. That just means all the more executions. I mean, electrocutions. It's, I assume they survive. They probably just go in a big loop and come right back to get electrocuted again. At least I hope they do. And let's level up this guy. So we're going to go from 900 to 1200. So now each one of the Kiwis getting electrocuted and entering the castle, $1,200 easy money but we're definitely getting ahead of our production now so let's upgrade our auto clicker that's going to give me uh like a lot more and then let's upgrade that one more time it's going to go from 1400 to 1700 those are really big increases that was expensive but that was a 20 percent increase to our kiwi stockpile but the bigger the stockpile the faster these guys get electrocuted and the more dollars we make i hope eventually there's more we can do to electrocute them we can electrocute multiple of them or maybe we'll cut them in half or set them on fire fire is always a fun one and we're coming up a hundred thousand dollars so that means I can finally upgrade the castle. Not sure what that does, but... So if I spend $100,000, I get 1.6 coins. So that's a 60% increase, which is actually enormous right now because now we're getting $2,000 for every Kiwi that lands over there, which is a good deal for me. They have to get electrocuted, but it makes me money, which means I should upgrade this one. So the auto clicker is getting another 20% boost approximately because we're going through a lot of Kiwis right now. We need to turn us all into coins very efficiently. And the new thing seems to be working because look how full our tank is. We're up to 25,000 Kiwis in there that all turn into lots of money. Then I can crank up lightning power to 210% and then we can burn through all that and turn that into money extra, extra quick. But then we're probably going to spend about $50,000 upgrading the productivity again, at least on my auto clicker, because I can't click forever. I have to get up and get coffee at some point. So this is going to give us another 20% increase. And by the time basically I, I selected that upgrade, we could do it again. So there's another 20% increase. So now he's shoveling in 3,000 Kiwis every time he does that. Probably upgrade my own clicker too. Uh, we'll get another 50% there. I mean, why not? Upgrades are upgrades. 76 every time we touch the Kiwi. Not sure where they get that all, but they've got a lot in there. We're up to 40,000 Kiwis stored. Oh, there's something else coming up. Wait, what is that? Oh, come back with a crown. Okay. We have 70,000 Kiwis in the vault. We got 30,000 dollars to spend i'm gonna upgrade the speed of the lightning processing pretty quick just because that's an extra 50 percent speed so they'll hustle their way along get executed ever quicker so now when i have lightning going at full capacity they really go through there in a hurry two thousand dollars for every one of those idiots moving along we're not quite a balanced production at this rate we're slowly burning through our kiwi supply but not by a hugely fast amount we just make a lot of money now oh and our king is about to show up again so we're gonna murder the ever-loving life out of him uh, i thought he'd be richer but i mean i'll take what i can get out of your corpse. Okay, $80,000 to spend. So I've saved up almost $100,000 and I've still got a stockpile of 60,000 Kiwis to turn into money. So I'm going to level up the bag stuffer, which is an awesome name for an employee. And they're going to now get a double, they're going to double their uh, output. So they're going to burn through our stockpile of Kiwis mega quick. But every time they touch down now, they're giving us 4,000 instead of about 2,000. So they've done, we've doubled our income. And that really shows because look at how much money we have. So I'm going to have to turn up my, this thing. So you're going to now get a big increase. So 
that auto thing's now giving a thousand more every load and it's doing a lot of loads. And we're going to give it another increase from 4,000 to 4,600. So it's like a 15% increase, I think, every time I click that. But now we're making money stupidly quick. We're making like $4,000 every couple seconds and that number's about to skyrocket. Okay, we were just about to break $250,000. That means I'm going to upgrade this and we're going to get a pretty big increase to our profitability again. We're getting about 4,000 per coin. Now we're getting about 5,300. So now we can increase everything else, but we just increased our uh, income by a huge amount. Uh, I'm going to increase my big stuffer again. And then we're going to get even more. We're getting $8,000 every time a Kiwi lands in that castle. So we've doubled our income. I should probably click the thing. Oh, transcendence. So when I want a prestige, basically, I can get prestige. I get six coins if I do that now. I don't think we want to do that yet. I think I can save up some more prestige coins fairly easily. I can also have this go from well, another 15% increase to its uh, automatic deliveries. I'll even upgrade my clickers so we still get actually a huge amount there. I should do that more. 126 per click and it's no problem at all. Okay, I very quickly got another 210,000 to spend so I'm going to upgrade this guy again so he's now got a big upgrade to how much he's shoveling into the auto system. And I'm also going to increase the speed another 15%. I mostly just want to electrocute things faster. The profit is a nice extra touch. Upgrades are definitely getting expensive now. I got $110,000 and I can afford two different things. So we'll upgrade the big stuffer then we're carrying 5,000 per load. My prestige number hasn't gone up yet. Maybe I'm not clicking enough so we're going to get another almost 50% increase to clicking power. But we're also getting $10,000 per Kiwi load. So when I'm going like this, obviously we make a lot of money quickly. That's like almost $10,000 every few seconds, basically. But we're also going through our Kiwi stockpile super quickly doing it this way. I think the king's about to show up. So we'll murder him for some dollars, then we'll get some more upgrades. Oh, he's knocking my idiots out of the way. Oh, look how much money we're getting out of him this time, though. That's very profitable. 500,000 coins to spend. So let's do the auto clicker from 6,900 to about 10,000, which was definitely needed because we're running the stockpile super quick. Delivery speed is going to go up again, another 15%. Uh, that seems to level it up or something. So it'll be interesting to see what that upgrade brings us. Oh, my prestige thing just jumped up to 10. So now we're making progress. Prestige coins are worth a full. I'm going to try and burn through my 170,000 Kiwi stockpile to try and turn that into massive profit. We're going to. I just need about six or $800,000. And so far, this is working good. We're burning through the stockpile pretty quickly, but I've got $650,000 to spend. But because there's something wrong with me, it's time to figure out what happens if we hit the level up here. This is not the best use of my money, probably nothing happened. I think that this meant the level ups leveled up so now they're getting a 20% increase instead of a 15. So that was a fun use of $800,000. But at least they're going to the security point adequately fast. And this will be a satisfying part. We got 600 and something thousand dollars to spend. We can upgrade our simple coins per kiwi by a pretty big amount. Given how much we're already getting, we're going from 10,000 to 13,000. That was basically a 13, a 30% increase without actually slowing down any of our production anywhere. Basically, that straight up adds pure profit. And all we have to do is electrocute Kiwis. Then I think we're due for an upgrade on our auto shoveler thing. So there's a 15% increase to our automatic Kiwi production. And then I'll maybe spend uh, $150,000 on upgrades for my clicker, which actually gives me another big increase. That's like a 50% increase. And at 276 per click, I make several thousand probably every second. Then I'm going to upgrade how many they're taking per bag. So that's actually a pretty big increase in itself. That's a 25% increase. So we'll be making, yeah, a lot more on this end again. Uh, six, 17,000, but they're going to go through the stockpile quicker. But that's okay. That's kind of the point. We just need to make sure that stockpile stays ahead because you can blast them through now. Look how quick they go. So I'll probably get them to shovel more in there. There's another increase there. And we'll upgrade the clicker again just a little bit because I'm then going to increase the amount they're carrying again because that's going to lead to it's twenty thousand dollars per load on the other side now which is tons they're definitely running through the stockpile alarmingly quick though when i uh don't continually fulfill it but luckily we've got so much there we're going to get another upgrade there and my clicker also gets an upgrade and for the first time we're about to break a million dollars and we don't get any special achievement that's sad but our king idiot is about to make another appearance so we'll murder him one more time for funsies and hopefully that adds something to our abilities well he's definitely getting us lots of money these days not that we were particularly poor before that did give us more prestige points so we're gonna upgrade our pure profit one more time because we had the money for that and then we're gonna have these guys carrying more through so the kiwis now turn into about three and a half times their value so we're getting about three and a half times profit on those so the more they carry the more profit we get but we need to produce 
more as well. But they're bringing in 32,000 every time they drop off, so that's plenty. But saying that, the prestigio meter really is slowing down, so I think it's time to transcend. So this unlocks professions and blue arrows. And I mean, I still have 10 coins left over, so I think I'm going to get this. 60 coins per kiwi delivered, plus 60%. That's huge. And I don't really know what this is, plus 60% kiwis per car hit. I don't know what car hits are. I think I'm going to take the save option plus 60% kiwis per click. That should add up nicely. Now we're back to this basic idiot. But we also have this over here. So profession on tree. So we collect these blue points and each one of these is a different play style. I'll probably do carpentry because that's more so for auto clickers. So I don't have to do much of anything. We just need to collect some blue points is all. So I'm going to go ahead and max buy things as they come. We should be making plenty of profit plenty quickly. Because already them dropping off are giving me 40 coins per load and they're taking 20 five years so it's about a 50% increase and I'm already up to nine kiwis per click so we're definitely going to be making some money and we'll even increase these just to get them going again so for the first time I'm going to basically triple a little over triple my uh, big stuffer capacity so they're not making a lot more per load they've jumped all the way up to 136 and that's good because we're be, uh, producing a lot more than that also I knocked my first profession now that I look at this I read the blue text I like clicking or using an auto clicker I want to play a bit every 25 40 minutes. I might be back every few hours. I'm going to be here clicking away, so archery it is for now. All clicks also click the kiwi. That's a good one to start with. So now I can click both the security and it's, uh, yeah, the archer's over there doing his thing. So we're going to do that and it's going to increase our productivity a huge amount. Plus we get to shoot a kiwi and how fun is that? So I definitely need to keep going here. I guess I can even click here if I want to, but it's going to be all about the clicker for a minute. The faster we click, the more speed we get, the more money we make. Easy peasy. So since we're going to be producing so quickly, we can upgrade the big stuffer who's going to have uh, almost triple the uh, input so we're going to have triple the profits so every time they touch down now we're getting 328 and i'm going to click that one more time so we're going to get 616 every load and the king's about to show up and fight me and kicking the king is also going to make me a lot of money and productivity so let's spend about ten thousand hard earned dollars on my clicker which gave me a big increase so then let's increase our this thing that about doubles our profits about doubled a thousand dollars even every time they touch down so let's make our auto dude do a little further we got one prestige point so far okay let's increase our production again and we'll keep on clicking we're getting $1,300 per kiwi touchdown this is going so much faster okay then with my hard-earned archery points I'm gonna buy enables the archery target click it to speed up time I'm not entirely sure what that means but I like the idea of speeding up time oh this one oh interesting so we can click up here and speed in general just goes quicker yeah I could get used to this one because we could have both of these going and then they'll go super super speed uh, and in that short little burst I've also just tripled my clicking capacity so if I go like this yeah we're making stupid amounts of kiwis so uh I'm gonna try and build up a big stockpile right now because if we build up a big stockpile now later on we can turn it into much bigger profit uh we're done so good the king's already back I'm also going to upgrade that. That's going to give me a huge increase again. We're going to click the king to death. Uh, he's dead and life goes on. And we're going to spend our $25,000 on more upgrades. There's another 25% increase to our clicking capacity power. Uh, I can also spend another three archery points increasing the target multiplier on my archery. So we can go 130% speed, 230%, okay, 250% speed. I'll take it. I'm also going to upgrade the auto kiwi thing by almost 50% because it doesn't keep up with my clicking, but it's not really that far off either. And I will eventually get tired of the clicking depending on copy levels. I can actually kind of balance it out between these two too if I want to increase this and I go back to increasing speed and then it's a multiplier and a multiplier and then they're basically sprinting for that castle. They want to get this life over with. So basically I'm going to high speed it like this because we're making decent profit but we're also making a huge stockpile of kiwis. But before sort of releasing that uh, stockpile to turn into profit let's upgrade this so we're going to get more money for each one of those kiwis because we're already up to 2,000 for every single kiwi that goes through there and we've got a lot of kiwis. So in theory we have $400,000 in kiwis sitting there and that number is going up and up and up especially when I turn my auto clicker up again not my auto clicker my clicker I don't have an auto clicker right now because I'm really stupid okay I'm gonna click uh this auto clicker I'm gonna increase and that's gonna be a big increase to that so now I can be a little bit lazier okay I built up a stockpile of about 300,000 kiwis that should be enough now to increase these guys so they're gonna carry quite a bit more through which is gonna turn into more profit I'm also gonna turn up their processing speed by 15% and we're gonna give them a little boost while we're here and just like that we're making over three thousand dollars per trip and my my stockpile is still growing because my stockpile numbers are outrunning my processing capacity and that's still a good thing. $3,200 every time I go through there and let's increase that again. Got another three points that I, okay, I guess we're buying 50% max 
target multiplier. So now we can go up to 300% speed, which is just all the more profit for me. And here comes the king again. We're going to go ahead and focus just a little bit on him because he needs to die in a hurry. And got him. I really like this 300% speed thing. It's really going along. So much so that we've in fact saved up a quarter of a million dollars, 250,000. So that means we can upgrade simply our profits by a large margin. So we went from 3,000 per load to 4,300. That's actually almost a 50% increase. And that doesn't reduce our profits or speed in any way. That's just pure profit. Then I'm going to spend $100,000 on clicking power, which is going to give me not quite a 50% increase, but something up there somewhere. Almost 500 per click. And we've got a stockpile of about 700,000 kiwis so we're going to turn that into quite a bit of profit. Each one of those kiwis turns into about three and a half dollars so we have about two and a half million dollars of kiwis sitting there so far. Okay while well, I'm here I'm going to upgrade uh, so they're carrying twice as much now so they should make twice as much profit as they go now so we're up to 8,500 per load plus my uh, auto deliverer is going to go 50% increase. My clicking is starting to struggle to keep up a little bit with demand we're still doing it but not by as much as we'd like so we're going to do that and get a big increase to our clicking power. Now look at that number go up we're at nine 940,000 kiwis collected. Uh, we're getting ahead, but not by a whole lot. But we're coming up. There's a million kiwis in the vault. An even million. So that's going to turn into three and a half million dollars at least. I guess I should probably upgrade the speed in which they go through. There's a 30% increase to their speed moving through. So we'll turn it into profit quicker. Now we're making money quickly. Look how quick they're going through. $8,500 per load and we're going to step that up soon. Just killed the king one more time. So we got a few more prestige points, but we also got a lot of money from that. And we can upgrade our profit again. So we're going from 8,500 per idiot into the castle up to... 10,000, 11,000. 11,000. So uh, we're getting about four and a half times profits now. So we have, I don't know, $5 million of kiwi sitting in the vault. So we just got to get them processed. The best way to do that is probably upgrade my auto clicker just a little bit more. Okay, then I think it's only fair to spend about $300,000 on the bag carrier. That's going to almost triple their capacity. So now we're going to be making almost triple the profits. $27,000 per kiwi into the castle. That might start to burn through our stockpile, but the profits from that are going to be enough to fuel the upgrades to hopefully keep ahead of production. I mean, we've already made about 400,000 coins after that. And security seems to have trouble processing. Let's get more clicker upgrades. That's actually probably worth it. So 800 kiwis per click and each one of those turns into four times profit so it's about $3,200 per click right now. And so there's $600,000 to spend. I'm going to spend that on security upgrades because it's only worth one upgrade but it's probably going to be fine. Then we'll upgrade how much they're carrying by another 25%. I think I actually clicked that twice because it just happened to roll over there. So now we're going to be making 43,000 every time an idiot gets electrocuted and goes in a castle. Okay, then I'm also going to double my auto thing basically because it will add up quite a bit, uh, especially when you're going at 300% speed. Also, I'm going to spend four coins, 30% max security speed multiplier. Not that I'm touching this much, but now we could probably get over to 260% or something. 240, uh, whatever, that's fine. Look how quick they go through now. Look at all the money coming in. Oh, I don't know what to do now. Do we have them carry more? Yeah, let's have them carry more. We can turn all that into money so quickly. So when security's up and this goes up, they're starting to run through and we make a million dollars in no time at all. And the king comes back and we kill him, hopefully quickly. Oh, he's going so quick. Can we get him? Can we get him? Got him. Oh, and that actually gave us $2 million. So we can take the prestige points and then level this up again for more profits. So 14,000 Kiwis turns into $78,000. So there's a pretty good markup on that. Speaking of which, carry more for me and also better clicking. So we have currently, uh, what are they making? $85,000 every time they land there. So we're making a million dollars every, you know, few seconds really at this point. If I get both my multipliers going, absolutely. <laughs> and so it is running through 85,000, 85,000, 85,000. Yeah, so we're making love. Lots of millions of dollars are burning through my stockpile, but I'm somehow not that worried about it right now. Uh, especially because we're still about to even turn up the profitability one more time because money is just coming in so stupidly quick. So now every load is a hundred thousand dollars, one hundred thousand dollars every time a kiwi touches down. But they're definitely going faster than I can click, so we're burning through the stockpile quickly. But we're making some money while doing it. It was worth it to build up that massive stockpile, even without the security uh, speed upgrade. We're still making a hundred thousand dollars every every second. Like it's stupid amounts of money right now so we're gonna take this five million dollars and i am going to turn that into better clicking probably so we're gonna get a 20 percent increase oh actually these get bigger and bigger now so every time i click two thousand kiwis so that's not bad at all and i think every upgrade now is going to be huge again we very quickly saved up another three and a half million dollars and that puts me in the ballpark of this so an upgrade the uh kiwi curse so there's a 50 percent increase how much i get every click so three thousand kiwis every click so i think we're actually had a production again which is stupid 
but considering how much money we're making for every one of those kiwis. So naturally we're going to spend five million dollars on bank carrier upgrades. That's going to give them a 25-ish percent increase. So we're going to make 25-ish percent more money. $140,000. We actually made 40 percent more money. So that means things are moving along at an alarming rate. You know what? Let's upgrade. Wow, we can get big upgrades here. So we might burn through that stockpile at an alarming rate suddenly, but we're going to make so much money doing it because security is going to go quicker than ever. Watch what happens if we click here, get that going, and then we click this one back. Uh, and it's just 140, 140, 140, 140. I can't even talk that fast. It's so much money. So I need to upgrade my clicker right away though. We're now getting 4,000 per click, and I don't know if that's enough to keep up even, even at our fastest clicking. Whatever the case, we're getting about seven times profit. So every click right now is worth about $30,000. Uh, and the king is coming back, but we're moving at super speed, so I need to click... Oh, I missed a bunch of clicks there. That's not good. But look how rich we are. And we got all those prestige points. But there's also $22 million, which is enough for more profits again. That's a huge increase in profits. So we're up to $211,000 per kiwi now. So we're getting almost 10 times multiplier. So every click is worth about $10,000... Uh, 40000 $40,000 per click. And we're doing a lot of clicking and delivering a lot of kiwis. Speak of which, it's upgrade our clicking for an extra 1,000 per click, which is actually a 25% increase, which is huge. Okay, so even if we don't touch anything, we're making $211,000 every couple seconds, but I'm gonna uh, upgrade my auto thing because that's long overdue. And then I'm gonna sit here and collect a little more money at an alarming rate. Uh, we're also producing more than we ever have before by a large margin. Then it's time to spend about $6 million on upgrades for this guy, so you're not gonna get a huge upgrade, but that's, I don't know, 20, 30%. So now every time a Kiwi runs into the castle, $250,000, a quarter of a million dollars. And they're doing that so quickly, it's hard not to be making a stupid amount of money. We're also going to spend $5 million on a 30% upgrade there. And I think another clicking upgrade is more than necessary. That's another 1,000 increase. So that was a 20% boost to clicking power. And we're going to do a 50% boost to our auto clicker, which is actually huge. And since that div did level up and we're going 300% speed, we really should just keep it going. There's another 20% increase to that. Okay. This is going to be fun. I've been preparing for this for a minute. We're going to spend $55 million boosting our profits again by a large margin. So now every time an ID goes in there, $330,000. But also now with this, every time I click, I also click security. So I get that massive speed boost. I also have a stockpile of $4.3 million there. So if I start rapidly clicking this, the profit is going to be absolutely absurd. Look at that. $333,000. I'm making millions of dollars a second. Probably close to $2 million a second. We're burning through our stockpile rather quickly, but but look how much money we have. Then if we increase the amount of money uh, these guys carry on their backs, now we're making $650,000 a load, so... Yeah, many millions of dollars every second. And I'm really happy I was able to engineer this for myself. We need to upgrade our clicker. There's another 50% increase to clicking power. So yeah, we're still burning through our stockpile, but not super, super quickly. So that was fun. And we can increase our capacity again so that when they have enough Kiwis, about a million dollars per load. Or it's like 15 times profit. So every click gets us about $150,000 once it's unloaded. I mean, even going on a no stockpile, I can keep them going this quickly. That's still a million dollars every second probably even quicker. So you get the point. We've probably made billions of dollars by now by torturing kiwis. Today I'm gonna make myself a trillionaire in the wisest way possible with cryptocurrency. Yeah. At least I have an RV to start out in. Would probably be further ahead cooking meth but cryptocurrency is probably as smart. But it's time for a first miner for $60. Now I don't even have to tap, but I'm still going to because $130 is not enough to retire on. Now we can get into the crypto since we made $500. That's a minimum requirement. So if we invest $300, every tap gets us $2 instead. And to fuel all this activity, we have our very own power pole now, plus we just stole $30 from a truck. Armed robbery along with crypto investing. So basically if I'm tapping as fast as I can, we're in $13 to $15 a second range. But I don't like manually clicking a lot because I'm lazy, so we're going to buy the uh, passive income. After spending $700 on that, we're up to $6 per second. Now I don't have to tap it if I don't want to. So then let's invest almost another $1,000 into this, and now we're up to $9 per second. And that means if I'm tapping as fast as I can, we're up to $23 a second. Okay, after hijacking another vehicle, we're up to about $2,800. So we're now going to upgrade our tapping skills. And we've basically doubled our tapping value. So even now at a pretty hearty tapping rate, we're up to $37 a second. If I really get aggressive with it, I can get up to $50 a second, but I'm not going to do that often. Maybe this crypto stuff really is worth it. I made $2,100 in 10 seconds. And now that I made $2,400, we can level this up one more time. And I'm pretty sure that gets me close to Bytecoin. And we can also use the PC now for $1,000. That's going to give us an extra four per second. So we're going to do that twice. 
$18 a second now for doing nothing at all. We have the tapping to that, we could probably get it over 100 And there's $4,800, so we're going to level this up one more time. Now we get all Cerium. So now we're getting $12 per tap, which puts our money way up. There's $150 a second plus a golden motorcycle. Oh, plus I have super value tapping, so we're making like $1,000 per tap. So this is a huge increase. I probably should have tried a little harder at that. I just couldn't be bothered. $85,000 though. So we're going to buy a few more little upgrades. This is going to add a little bit. This is going to add a lot more. So that's adding one per second. This is adding four per second, five per second. Then I can also buy a crypto cloud. That's going to add 20 per second. I think if I was making $214 a second, I'd probably move out of my RV. I did, however, buy a car and a satellite dish. Plus, I have a free spin that'll hopefully make me even richer. That looks pretty good. Receive cash worth 4,000 times your minor income per second. $854,000! Oh, because we almost made ourselves into a millionaire, we got to move into the suburbs, where we still get the hijack vehicles. So, now what do I spend all my money on? A high-end graphics card? $300,000 for a graphics card? That must be a good one. That's gonna add 91 per second all by itself. So I'm gonna spend the rest of my money on this one. Now we're making $862 a second, and if I tap enough, that'll go over $1,000 per second, which is pretty good money. But I still need to get binary coins, so I'm going to start upgrading uh, my clicking again, so now we're making $18 per click. So it doesn't take long at all to make thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars, but that's not trillions. A little boost, however, did just earn us $81,000, so up to $150 total. So let's get one of those. Um, one more level and we get binary coin. Oh, and we get a hundred times tap boost for 20 seconds, so once we start that... My finger's gonna be very tired after this one. But there's $600,000, so we're gonna upgrade this again, and now we have our binary coin, so now we get many more per click. $52 per click. Plus, we're gonna upgrade our graphics card one more time, so we're making $2,000 per second. The real value in this game is hijacking vehicles, though. Every time we touch those things, we get huge bonuses. And those are only gonna get bigger as we go, because they're based off of our base earnings. I feel like to progress, I've got to unlock the interstellar coin. That's going to get expensive though, because these upgrades are already $300,000, $600,000. So I don't know if I even want to do these ones. But I'm pretty sure if I upgrade this PC a few more times, it's actually going to triple its uh, output to 337 per second. So that's huge. We'd like to do the same with the rest of these miners, but it's going to be a while before we have that much money. And after making millions, tens of millions of dollars, we can afford house decorations like shrubs. And then when I'm feeling particularly rich, I can spend $318 million to write a crypto book. And I just got some kind of boost to my miners. Um, so I'm making about $100,000 per second right now, which is great because I really needed the money. I was feeling a little broke. And then we also have one of these, receive cash worth 150 times. So there's another 650,000 on top of my huge amounts of money I'm making currently. But thanks to this boost, I can also buy an ASIC miner. That's going to put me up to $132,000 per second with these boosts. So I might as well buy all of these that I can also. Because I'll just get paid back basically instantly for these. So I'm okay with that kind of uh, movement. The boost wore off and I'm down to a paltry $7,000 per second. I looked away for what felt like 10 seconds and I've got $5.2 million to spend. Should I try upgrading my tap more? I don't really want to. I just feel like I'm going to miss out on something good if I don't. And I'm out of money anyway, but I'm pretty sure one more level gets better taps. And my taps are now getting $88, so it's actually pretty good. And I actually have a quest to buy 6 Crypto Cloud. And that's not actually as expensive as I thought it would be. It took me from $500 to $1,500 per second. So my base income right now is about $12,000 a second. And because I bought the 6 Crypto Clouds, I received cash worth 300 times my minor income. So there's $3.5 million. And after making all this money, we bought ourselves a sports car. We make like $10 million an hour when we bought a single sports car. Decided to relax for a minute and that brought us up to $13.7 million and that really adds up quick. So we're going to upgrade our tapping. Now we have interstellar coin. So every time we touch this now, $203. And I realized if I go like this, I can actually tap like 40 something times a second. So that adds up quickly when I want to bother to do this. Which, I won't lie to you, isn't very often. I'm just going to keep buying these things because these give me the most money. The crypto cloud is actually the best one right now. It costs a little bit more than the high-end graphics card, but it gets me three times as much. But that's also why I should upgrade the high-end graphics card. So we'll work our way towards level 25, it's just going to be a minute. And I'm going to use the USB miner, which is still quite cheap, to hopefully get to level 50 and confirm where the, where the next upgrade lies. And I do like this wheel that shows up once in a while. Receive a 22 times miner boost for 50 seconds. So for a few minutes, we're going to make $573,000 a second. I'll take it. 
and we get extra tap value too so this is going to be a high earning minute and we can get our last two levels for the usb which is going to triple its output again so we're up to ten thousand per second just on it and that's pretty good we've got 30 million dollars to spend already so that's going to add up quickly i'm going to try and do the high-end graphics card to level 25 next because that's going to be a big boost once we finally get there only four more levels and we're up to thirty-three thousand dollars per second so that's lots we're getting so close to level 25 for the graphics cards. Two more levels, gonna be almost 20 million dollars more. Okay, we saved up the 20 whatever million dollars we're gonna need to do this, so one and two. That boosted from 2,000 up to almost 7,000 per second. I also just realized that if I boost the offline earnings, I actually get a boost for the online earnings as well for an hour. So something like this, that actually gives me a lot of income, uh, we're gonna go ahead and upgrade because why wouldn't we? Uh, and even then we can supercharge it at some point once they get high enough so we can get all the way up to an extra 100% income. So we're going to do the same with the next thing we're about to unlock because that's just going to give us more and more earnings. Hopefully I don't need those gems for anything else. I have a quest right now to buy three PCs so that's nice and easy. Now we get an 80 times tap boost for 10 seconds. Which will work out to quite a bit. And then I earn $305,000 by tapping so that means I get another boost. So off we go. And that gave us about $30 million. Why is there a tank going down the road? Oh, okay. Well, there's a free $20 million, which means we get a chill out area. Better be nice for $20 million. And after a few more boosts, we're up to $55 million to spend, which is almost enough for the next something, but I should probably upgrade the ASIC miner before doing anything. Not entirely sure of this, but it's got the boosts anyway, so I might as well let it rip. Uh, we only got eight levels of it, but that put us up to about $90,000 per second. I'm also curious to see what a crypto upgrade would do right now. So we're making $406 per click. Once we spend $10 million there, we're making $658. That's like a 50% boost. So I guess it just depends on how much I want to actually click. When we're doing this, we're up to about $200,000 a second. But without it now, we're up to $180,000 a second anyway. So we're not going to bother too much with that. I'm just going to keep getting my ASIC uh, miner a little bit closer to level 25. And I got a reward to get a whole bunch of uh, cars automatically delivering me a bunch of money. So we'll just sit back and let the money roll in. One of those cars jumped off like $50 million all by itself. We have $270 million now. So I guess we'll buy more of these ASIC miners. We're going to run out of money very quickly buying these. But we put ourselves up to $241,000 a second. Oh, it's a gaming PC that's next. $62 million for a gaming PC. I'm all about it. That's going to give me $1,845 for each level. And we have a quest for two high-end graphics cards. That's only going to be about $25 million. So we're going to do that because that's going to give us a nice reward. Six cars in a row, and these can be pretty valuable. Everything was a basic reward with the exception of the last one, which is still not a great one compared to what it could have been, but we're still going to make lots of money with it. And because we tapped six vehicles, apparently that was a quest. So now we're making $6 million per second. So we're just going to let that run out quite nicely. Oh, we're making $6 million a second for the next 40 seconds. So we might as well also spin this wheel and hope for some kind of big bonus too. Receive cash worth 300 times your miner's income per second. Hopefully those multiply off each other. Whatever the case is, $160 million. So we get a doghouse. Doesn't come with a dog though. Since you're making all this money, let's try and get the ASIC miner up to level 25. It's still going to take one more uh, click, but that's going to come pretty quickly. Uh, at least I hope it is. We're going to run out of time. There's one more second left. We're up to $123 million plus some extra tapping bonus. And was that enough to do it? It actually was. So the ASIC miner is going to go from 10,000 per second to 30,000 per second, which puts us at 600,000 per second overall. Okay, we also just got a tap 100 times for 20 seconds, so we're going to take advantage of that because that put us up to $4.8 million per second. This one's not going to last a hugely long time, but I'm going to take advantage of that because this is just really easy money. Well, it gave us another $135 million to work with. The next quest is to upgrade my tap to level 19, so there. And then I receive cash with 150 times my minor income. So there's $90 million. Plus, my tap is now worth $2,800, and if I touch this one more time, we get a new coin. Uh, and my earnings per second is $1.2 million, so yeah, these coins do uh, upgrade the base value as well. The better the base value, the higher the multiplier, because we went from like $600,000 to $1.2 million. And that means with like any booster at all, we're up to $26 million per second. And for the first time, we've made over a billion dollars, and we're still living in the same little house. Don't even have a dog yet.
I guess next I'm going to try and upgrade my gaming PC. I could buy a mining rack. I feel like it's not going to be worth it. I feel like it's going to be cheaper to buy seven of these. We managed to get that all the way to level 12, so we're up to $1.8 million per second, and I get nine cars in a row, which are probably going to give me some pretty good rewards. Even the basic ones now give me $50 million. If they want to give me more, that's fine too. Some of them gave me 260, so we're up to $1.5 billion. I'm not tight on money anymore, he says, as he's worth $1.5 billion. So I guess I should probably upgrade my coin again, if I can. Well, there's two levels of it. And since I upgraded my tap to level 22, I'm about to get a 100 times boost for 20 seconds. So that's going to put my earnings per second up to 100 million. 100 million dollars per second. Wouldn't that be nice? Which leaves us with 2.7 billion and we now get a garden. These upgrades are getting expensive though. There's 1.2. The next one's going to be 2.5. The one after that's probably going to be like 5. So I'm going to need 7.5 billion to get the next coin. In the meantime, I can always work on my gaming computer. And then whatever else I want, really, because I'm rich. I can try and get my old PC up to level 50. Uh, there we go. Now it's making $2,000 a second. And that just tipped us over $2 million per second, naturally. I now have a quest to tap 450 times. So that should go down pretty quickly, and then we'll get some kind of nice booster off of that. Plus, I got the cars coming in again. And they auto-unload, so I don't have to touch them, so that's pretty great. They're not giving me a ton yet, but $60 million is nothing to complain about. And there's my 400 something taps. That's going to get me nine cars in a row again. And then I got another booster. I'm pretty much living on these boosters, so I'm up to $45 million a second. So that means I'm going to buy another one of these. $5 billion for the next one. We have $1 billion right now. Plus my tap is worth $64,000. Oh, plus I can finally write my crypto book for only $318 million. Why wouldn't I? I'm not entirely sure what that did, but that's fine. Oh, and because we got $111 million by tapping, we got rewards from our rewards. 300 times my minor income, so there's $700 million. So let's upgrade our coin from Bitcoin Flash to Block Chainsaw Coin. So now our base income is $4.2 million per second, and every click is worth $214,000. So the money is still rolling in. Normally in games, it starts to slow down a little bit. This one's really holding its pace. Or, passively, $10 million a second and growing. Okay, better make that $11 million a second. Plus we get to spin the wheel. This game just gets you addicted to all the numbers and money again and again and again, and I'm all about it. Like this, now we get a 100 times tap boost for 20 seconds, which is gonna put us up probably close to a billion dollars per second. $800 million per second. I could live with that for a little while. That's gonna help us get some of those expensive upgrades. Okay, that brought us up to about $16 billion. So we're definitely one of the richest people in the world. And we now have roof solar panels because we need to save on electricity. So these are add-ons apparently that I can add to my stuff. 20% increased production. So we can add 20% to this and that's going to be a huge boost of 30,000 per second. So we're going to go ahead and spend 15 gems to open another one of those boxes to hopefully get an epic booster. Uh, this is a unique common 5% boost production of all miners. I could live with that. So there's um, 13. 13.3 million dollars per second without doing anything at all. It's getting hard to know what to upgrade any further. So we're going to buy a mining rack. That's going to give me 8,000 per second. Then we're also going to buy a supercomputer just because we can. That's going to give me 40,000 per second. The gaming PC is supposed to be a supercomputer. That's what the game doesn't understand. But let's start working on this mining rack. It's extraordinarily expensive. I should start paying attention to what the quests really are because they tend to be pretty good. We're making 20 million dollars a second. And we also just got 2.5 billion from a cash reward, and now we get six cars in a row as well. The money you just really, you don't have to work for it. I hardly know what to upgrade anymore. Everything makes me so much money, but it's all getting so expensive. I've got 30 billion dollars to spend, so I'm gonna go for mining racks for now. Uh, we got that to level 16. That's, we're up to almost 25 million dollars per second. The next quest is tapping 1200 times. That's actually gonna go by really, really quick. 1200 taps done, we get 300 times bonus, so there's another $6 billion. So that means we get the next uh, coin level at least, so now our taps are worth $600,000. And then our reward is getting 100 times boost, so now we're making 56, uh, $60 million per tap, and we're tapping a lot. We're currently making $2 billion per second for the next 11 seconds. Which leaves us with $45 billion plus a wheel spin. We spin that and we get a 22 times minor boost. Uh, I think we got double that also, so 520 million dollars per second right now. 
Uh, and uh, buying 28 PC uh, is going to get us a boost. But before doing that, I want better coins, potentially. What does it mean by 28 PC? Does it mean gaming PC? Nope, it means regular old PC. Do we have to buy 28 of these? Is that right? Yep, I can see it counting down in the background. I don't know how much money I'm spending on this, but I don't really care, because we get whatever this is. Three billion dollar boost. The next quest is tapping five vehicles, and that seems like it's going to be pretty easy to do. We also get a sailboat now, because we're finally starting to splurge just a little. Uh, in saying that, I'm going to spend some of my 35 billion dollars on these, and other five levels, those get doubled. And I've still got a boost for 30 seconds. We're currently making 600 million dollars a second, so we'll be able to afford some nice things fairly quickly. Plus we get a nice little boost to 7 billion dollars, so three more levels there, which will be worth about 50 billion dollars. Which we're about halfway there already, plus a little boost there, 26 billion dollars out of the probably 50 that we need. Next it wants us to tap 1.3 billion dollars, that will take a little while so I'm going to wait for a booster to dive into that. Or like usual I'm going to get impatient waiting and just start diving into it anyway, hoping that it'll get done, we only have 900 million left. And the booster is just about done, the quest rather, which will get us a booster. And we get 150 times cash reward. But it's probably enough to get us... Oh, we're 2 billion away. This wheel spin might get us there though. Well, now I've got enough, so this is going to go from 200,000 to $650,000 per second. Next quest is to buy 4 gaming PCs for about $10 billion. I lost count. Is that it? Now I get cash worth 300 times my miner per second, which is 15 billion dollars. Another simple tap quest is done, and now we get 150 times value plus a box. Anything good? 5% increased production of the next 5 miners below. Well, fittingly we could put that right here, and the 5 miners below it are all very good ones. So we're up to about 60 million dollars per second. And the next upgrade here is only 80 billion dollars. Uh, 160 billion and we'll get our next coin. And that's not really going to take long at all because we're already up to about 60 billion dollars of that. Plus we have a quest complete so there's another 7.5 billion plus a spinny wheel which will get us just a little. Now I have a quest to tap 500 times but because I can use six fingers at once we're going to get there very quickly plus that car. But we had to do was it 500 taps 600 taps whatever the case we're just about there already and I'm not even trying that hard I'm being a little bit lazy about this still. But for that lazy effort, I now get seven and a half billion dollars. Okay, and I just got a hundred times uh, tap boost for a few seconds, so we're now making six billion dollars per second. Well, let's we'll call it between five and six because I'm inconsistent, but that's lots of money. We're at 150 billion dollars total. We still have uh, seven seconds left at five billion dollars per second, so that's going to be lots of money. Plus, I get uh, some automatic cars in a row, which is never a bad one, because it is dump off money. So I think we can afford our next coin, so that's going to take us from 58 million per second up to 112 million dollars per second. And every time I tap, I get 4.6 million dollars. So even with a very moderate booster, we're getting 186 million dollars per click, and there's a lot of clicks happening. 7 billion dollars a second, that's a new record for us. More supercomputers it is. I bought a lot more of those than I thought I would be able to afford. 150 million dollars per second without doing anything at all. Okay, this will be the big one. We've got a hundred times boost now after all these upgrades. So what's this going to bring us up to? 20 billion dollars per second? Well, I'm seeing 18 billion dollars per second on the high end, which seems like lots of money to me, considering we started out at one dollar per second, which is actually still a lot now that I think about it. Okay, so whatever the case, we just made $364 billion in like a few seconds. So just imagine what we're going to be able to do next time. One click equals one candy. Confused? Well, we'll figure it out together. Pretty simple concept. The more I click, the more candies I get. 15 candies means I could buy an auto click, which means it just clicks away all by itself. At an incredible pace at 0.5 candies per second, at this rate, all our problems will be solved. But we're going to work our way all the way up to 100 candies. That means we can buy a cursor, makes one candies per click. So now we have the golden cursor, two candies per click. We have double the income. And that that only takes 115 to upgrade. Now we're getting three per click. And we leveled up so we get some of those. And we get upgrade points to spend. I actually think I might save up for this. Make plus one more sugar per level up. 
We only gonna need five levels, we'll do that pretty quickly, but then we get extra sugars per level and that's gonna get us further faster later. I don't know if that makes sense. In fact, it's probably a bad idea because it is my idea, but it's the one we're going with. And it looks like we have a lot of things to unlock all the way up to infinity. We hit 1500 candies, that gave us another level up. We're not gonna spend that yet, but we do get an auto candy, 25 candies per second. So we just went from, I don't know what we're at to a lot. Now, auto click is only level one. Let's bring it all the way up to level 10 to see if there's any kind of bonus. There doesn't appear to be. But that did bring us up to 30 per second. So let's spend the rest of our money here. That leaves us at 30 per second still. Oh, because that was the clicker upgrade. So now I'm getting 10 per click. So we're now making hundreds per second and we're leveling up quickly. But we're going to do another auto candy and then maybe more cursor upgrades. And now we're up to a lucky 13 per click, but we've already made a thousand candies back. This number is going to get big quickly and I very much enjoy that. In fact, there's another level up, so we're almost at the level 5 we need to get the bigger bonus. I can tell I've had too much coffee because I haven't resorted to an auto clicker yet. So let's buy the steel cursor. That's going to make 50 candies per click. And then I'm going to go have more coffee because I want to see what happens. Wow, I should just get a coffee every time I level up. I've already got enough for another steel cursor so there's an extra 50 per click i just read that out loud to myself and that's per click but we're getting 113 per click now so i need to be actually clicking to make that work but on a more important note we're gonna get plus one sugar per level up so now in five levels we'll have made back our loss and then after that we're into profit when it comes to the sugar things and we're about to get 20 000 candies that's gonna give us a level up then i'm also gonna buy all of the auto candies that's going to give us big experience, but we're up to 230 per second, plus our clicking. And we've officially clicked 1,000 times, and that's another level up. Things are moving along very quickly. I'm actually going to wait for this one, probably the coffee talking. But if I can get one more sugar per level, we're going to get three per level. That's going to be absolutely absurd. Now, this is me clicking, and this is how much quicker the auto clicker is. It's almost too fast at this point. We'll save that for an emergency, perhaps. But we officially broke 100,000 candies. We're going to keep on going because we're going to hit level 10 soon. Uh, but also, we can also buy the candy farm. That's going to give us 2,000 candies per second. So we went from 230 to 2,230. So we're making about 10 times as much as we just were. So I'll probably buy a few more steel cursors then because we can certainly afford it at this point. And those bonuses were huge. There's 82,000 candies. Give me more of these. Okay, we're up to 360 per click. Plus, I'd better buy the more per level up. So now we're getting three sugar lumps every time we level up. I was hoping they didn't scale like that, like the next one would only be 15, because at three per level up, it wouldn't be hard to get that. So let's start making some investments here. Make 20% more candy per click times several. So that gives us 522.7 per click. Then we're going to upgrade the candy farm maybe a few times because that doubled our passive income. We're going to do it again. So we're up to 6,200 per second all by itself which is actually faster than my clicking right now unless i use the auto clicker but there's another level up we're gonna grab 150,000 of uh auto things and then we're gonna get 20 more 20 percent more candy per second times a few i feel like i only bought two upgrades there despite the fact i should be getting three and i think it's probably worth it to save up for the candy mine at 1 million candies rather than upgrade the candy farm at least right now there's officially 1 million owned so we can buy the candy mine that's going to take us from 9,000 candies per second to 44,000 candies per second because of my level bonuses and then since i've got another level up right away and the bonuses and the golden candies we can actually just buy another candy mine right away Eighty thousand candies per second clicking hardly seems worth it anymore okay so i should have three of these oh i see they scale and cost that's where the mistake is coming in all right well let's make uh, 20 percent more candies per second and that actually brings us pretty close to 100 000 per second especially when i buy this 140 000 per second but the clicking is really what gets me the level ups. And these golden candies are now giving us about two thirds of a million, 660,000 per candy. As far as the level ups are concerned, I'm going to save up for the plus one more sugar per level because the way it's scaling, we're just going to need that. I want more for my clicking, so I'm going to auto click steel cursor. So that's going to take us from 522 all the way up to 2600 per click. And I think that leveled us up a lot because I had a lot of gold candies coming in, but there's 2600 per click. That still doesn't really compare to our passive income, but we'll get there eventually. Especially when I can just go like this. I can even grab the gold candies and get back to clicking. That's actually too fast. I blew past my target. There's a candy factory, 50 million, produces 200,000 candies per second. We're currently doing 140. So that brought us up to about 500,000 candies per second. The next upgrade does cost 200 million. I can't believe we're getting into the hundreds of millions already but these are worth several million by themselves unless we clicked enough to get our next sugar upgrade this is definitely one of the better clicker games i've played lately that might again be the coffee talking oh and we still have a level up to go so let's just get 20 percent more per gold candy because those actually add up then we're going to upgrade the candy factory so that's going to give us an extra 400,000 per second so we're making 1.2 1.1 million candies per second so now it would only take us about 200 seconds 
to get the gold cursor, but I don't want to wait that long. Eh, we're up to about 75 million. Let's buy more candy factories. So we're going to level up some more. I'm going to want to make more candy per second. So in total, so far, I've only made 168 million. We can do better. I looked away for a second to drink coffee. 280 million candies, which means we can buy a gold cursor. That means we're going to make 500,000 per click. I, we're making 2,600 now, so that's a pretty big increase. Now we can actually make a difference in our money again, because if we can click about three times per second, we're matching our passive income, but I can go faster than three times per second because I have this. So we'll buy some candy factories. Each one of these clicks is 200,000 per second. So that was obviously a lot of clicks, 5 million per second. I'm already so overpowered and rich that I've been mostly ignoring these levels. I got another 20 levels. So I'm probably just going to save up another 20 to get the 40, and then we can buy more of that stuff again. Uh, I've already made 1 billion candies now. That wasn't long from our last update where we had 160 million. We are well on our way to $3 billion candy lab, but let's buy some more candy factories while we're waiting because that's just going to help us down the road anyway, somewhat. Then we're going to buy another golden cursor, so now we're making 1.5 million per click. 500 million candies, so we're going to go ahead and buy another cursor and then probably buy another cursor because why wouldn't we? It makes me wonder how big the numbers actually get. And I just realized I should take advantage of the clicking right now so I'm just going to do this for a second because as soon as I buy the next candy factory the clicking is not going to be worth it anymore. So we'll maybe cut it off something like here at about four billion dollars because we're going to buy the candy lab that's going to give me 45 million per second. So we're now up to 100 million uh, candies per second, which means we make a billion every 10 seconds without any clicking. If I do click as fast as I can, I can boost that number still a little bit. But I would need to click 33 times per second to match my passive income, and that just doubled. This one really keeps up with itself. Oh, and I got the proper upgrade for this, so now we're getting plus one sugar per level up, and now we're going to buy like 20% more candy per click that's going to help a little bit. We could spend about $9 billion on a better clicker though. Is that going to be worth it? I guess we'll find out the hard way. That was a lot of levels. We're making 13 million per click, so that's actually still not bad, considering even just without an auto clicker, we can go this quick. Then I can level up to get more per gold candy click. That's going to add up because we get a lot of gold candies. Because I am a professional clicker after all, we're now getting five per level, and these are getting us over a billion dollars each. So let's take 20% more candy per second. That's going to add a pretty big increase. 232 million per second now. So we'll buy some more candy labs, and that puts us up to 680 million per second. We're getting close to a billion per second. And that's okay because the upgrades are getting expensive. These ones are two billion per upgrade. And we are about to level up again. So that's going to give us some gold candies and some sugar to spend. So we're going to take an extra 20% candy per second. That added 200 million per second all by itself. And then we're going to make 20% more per click. I wasn't even paying attention, but we already made enough for the candy temple, which is basically going to double our income. It's going to add an extra 650 plus bonuses. Okay, that tripled our income to 2.76 billion per second. So that's currently basically a cursor upgrade every three seconds. Obviously that's going to scale, but you get the idea. We can get a lot of cursor upgrades. And there's another level up because I was upgrading the candy lab because I realized the cost of it is still kind of effective. And we got another level up here with the sugar, so 20% more candy per click. And if we auto click now, the yellow bar still goes very quickly and we make a lot of money. So after letting the auto clicker run for just a second, it really kind of breaks the game. We'll go to this next level up though. We actually made almost a trillion candies there, so we might as well just let it hit that. But you know you're making progress when your progress slows down like this. The numbers are hardly moving. But that means I can buy a diamond cursor for $750 billion. That's going to make an extra $800 million per click. So we're going to go from $42 million all the way up to 2 billion per click, which puts our income to even more absurd levels. So even just casually clicking like this, I've quickly made back a trillion dollars. But we're going to buy some more candy temples also, just so our income can jump up a little bit. There's 22 billion per second. So every five seconds, there's about 100 billion. Every 50 seconds, there's a trillion. And that was before I upgraded the diamond cursor again. So now 4 billion per click. 20 clicks makes 100 billion dollars. And since we've got 41 of these to spend, uh, we're just going to get more candy per second times 60, uh, 80 percent then more candy per click. That itself brought us up to 45 billion per second and we're gonna buy a bunch of the candy temples. I'm gonna auto click these. So we're now up to 77 billion per second without any clicking. Now that number is moving by itself. And if I auto click, that number goes up very quickly. And so do the level ups. Uh, and it's only been 30 minutes. 
That flew by, I've been lost in this beautiful game. And to be fair, normally it does take a lot longer to hit the trillions in these kind of games. But speaking of which, here's a candy rocket that's gonna get me 10 billion per second. And that pushes up to 154 billion per second, so it's only gonna take us 6-7 seconds to make a trillion dollars now. And that's without clicking, which I love. The goldfish now get us about a trillion per click. Our cursor is going to go up quite a bit, so now if we click there is 17 billion. There's always something to click on here, and it's just great. So we're gonna make 20% more per second. That's gonna give us like a 20-30 billion boost. We'll make our gold candy better too while we're at it. I'm gonna buy some more candy temples. I don't know when the cost effect loses. They probably all kind of scale together now that I think about it. But we're up to 214 billion per second, 20 billion per click. Now the candy rocket still adds 10 billion per second, but with all the bonuses that actually adds up to more like 70, so we're getting about 7 times what it tells us. Pretty soon we're going to start getting into the quadrillions for the candy man. It will take a little while to get there, but we're going to get there. So as you be buying at the diamond cursor, candy rocket, and then we're going to grab these for... Three to four trillion dollars each. Then we buy another candy rocket. This is where I can feel the progress starting to slow. I've saved up 115 trillion dollars and it's going to be a little bit hard still to reach the next 250 trillion. That is called a time machine so I wonder if that's where we prestige. We're going to buy some candy rockets now which puts us up to almost a trillion per second now and then we're going to buy some more diamond cursors. Uh, and then if I buy this that's probably almost going to put us there very close to a trillion per second. So now it will only take 250 seconds naturally to get the time machine. And I'm very excited for it. But I also can't help myself. I need to see that number go over a trillion. Then we're going to do that one more time. 1.15 trillion per second without any extra effort. So I'm still getting a natural cursor upgrade every three seconds or so. Now it's every five seconds. Now it's every six seconds. I clicked my way through another level up. So we're going to get an extra 20 per second. Because eventually I'm going to get tired of clicking. Even using the auto clicker. There's 10,000 clicks by the way. Uh, it's still going to take a second to get that time machine for 250 trillion. So the time machine doesn't seem to prestige us. But it does give us 300 billion candies per second. Which we said is about times 7. So that's going to add 2.1 trillion. So that's going to add us to about 3.5. Between 3.5 and 4 trillion per second. 4.5 trillion. But a couple minutes ago we were thrilled to break 1 trillion. I'm already up to 5 trillion. Plus the extra per second is going to add up now we're up to 5.5 and i think it's safe to say we're not going to buy any more of these uh we could buy one of these a lot cheaper and it's going to make a much bigger difference so we're up to 10 trillion per second the clicks on the other hand really are my bread and butter so far we get 62 billion for these we made a total of one quadrillion candies we haven't really seen if there's a market for these yet we're just kind of producing them we haven't sold a single one as far as business plans go this isn't a good one we're clearly able to produce a large quantity but they're probably not very good considering i summoned them out of the air anyways Two more time machines puts us up to 17 trillion per second. So I'd still have to click about 30 times per second if my math is correct to make up what I'm earning naturally per second. Well, I can go like that and it probably does it and more. I don't know how fast the auto clicker is, but it's pretty quick. Because that blew us up into two quadrillion candies, so let's spend just a little bit out on time machines. Now we're up to 30 trillion per second. All right, well, let's summon the candy man. We don't have to do that. That still kind of blows my mind because even with the auto clicker going this quickly, it's taking that long to hit the quadrillion mark. The five quadrillion we need for candy man. But we did it. He's going to add 10 trillion per second times, I don't know, a factor of 10 or something at this point. So there's 150 trillion per second. It's hard to even quantify that in my brain. What just happened? That's such a stupidly big number. But every six seconds now, we're going to make a quadrillion dollars. Just like in real life, am I right? That's a trick question. I'm never right. We are getting pretty close to infinity though. And I have a feeling once we get the magic cursor, it's going to be easy to get there because um, this. I was going to save up for this, but I don't want to save up 80. So we're just going to get an extra 20%, 20%, and then we'll get some more clicks. So we got an extra 40% of our passive income, which means every every two and a half seconds we make a quadrillion dollars, which is good, not quite good enough, but we'll get there. A great way to fix that though would be buying some of these. One, two, three, four. I think we just increased our income to almost three times its level. Whatever the case, we're now making 1.2 quadrillion dollars every second, which is a big jump up. Or enough for an upgrade every 10 seconds. And as weird as this sounds, we can just keep buying the candy man. We also get 13 quadrillion dollars for those. More candy man, we're up to 2 quadrillion dollars per second. Which means it's really only going to take 30 seconds now to buy the magic cursor. Which is going to take our income probably up quite a bit. I mean, I'm no scientist, full disclosure, but we can now buy the magic cursor. 200 trillion candies per click. So we're going to go from 
89 billion to 860 trillion, basically a quadrillion per click, which will push us nicely along. And there is a rebirth. Uh, can I even afford anything? I can get 20% more per click. So why would I not? So we're going to spend the next 365 quadrillion dollars on candy men. We're going to have an army of candy men. But we're up to 3.5 quadrillion naturally. And including this, we're up to, I don't know what that is. 10, 20 quadrillion per second, but we can still do a little better. Let's upgrade the magic cursor and then auto click. There's some income we like. I don't know how many that is per second, but it's a stupid amount. So after letting that run for a second, we're going to hold it there at about 3.2 quintillion candies. Then we're going to get an extra passive boost and then gold candy boost. Then I'm going to become a god and that's going to produce us 5 quadrillion candies per second. Plus the bonuses equals, I, I don't know what we just did, but that number probably jumped up 100 quadrillion per second. It's enough to pay for its next upgrade instantly, basically. Like look at that number go. So we're making 2 quadrillion per click let's buy a few of the wow we're making a lot of money we'll buy another candy god now we're up to well we're gonna make a quintillion dollars every three seconds oh never mind we're gonna make a quintillion dollars every two seconds then we're gonna go back to auto clicking for just a minute which is gonna put us in the ballpark of 300 quintillion candies which i'm then gonna spend on candy gods so we should be able to buy a fair few of those now we make 2.5 quintillion every second so instead of a fraction of that, we're now making multiples of them. Then we're going to buy some magic cursors. A lot of magic cursors. Now we're making 34 quadrillion per click. And the gold candies are worth about 30 quintillion dollars all by themselves. Which means I can make 20% more per candy. There's a 60% increase on our income. We're up to about 5 quintillion per second. So I think we made our point here. For 100 quintillion, we can have a rebirth where we get two times candy earnings and our sugar stays. So instead of making one per click, we're making 10 per click. Click. We have 10 times the income already. So after the auto click, that's making 38.3. That gave us 0. 0.5 the first time around. Uh, so then we're going to buy the cursor. That's going to, we're now up to 20 per click already. So basically all we have to do like is go like this. I bet you I can get through the whole game in less than five minutes flat. Uh, so far so good. We're tearing through the game. I haven't even bought any upgrades yet. Like the, the multiplier is so big right now. That it's all just so stupidly easy. We can just probably buy a few of these, go like this. It's only going to take a second before we can afford the next one, which is over here. We're going to buy these. Then we're going to go back over here, and then we're going to go back over here, and then we're going to keep going. Honestly, as long as the auto clicker doesn't crash the entire computer, I think we could probably just go through the entire game like this with really minimal effort. As long as you're buying whatever the newest upgrade is, and I'm able to actually scroll. There's a diamond thing, there's one of those, there's a few of those. We're already up to the trillions. It's been like 10 seconds since we restarted. The multiplier is just ridiculous. Because you're making a trillion dollars per second, there's a candy rocket, there's some more of those keep going with the level up. Auto clickers are the best invention ever. Okay, we do need to take a little time out here though to buy uh, more multipliers here. So let's get more. Do we want per click? Yeah, we want per click. Okay, that put our income up a stupid amount again. And back to the auto clicking. So 77 trillion passively per second. We can buy the candy man for the first time. Now we're up to 1.6 quadrillion. We're going to buy the magic cursor because that's where the magic comes in. And we're already up to our first quintillion dollars. This basically happened in real time, so obviously these multipliers are, are worth it. There's the Candyman again, and we're back to Rebirth already. Wait, we need technically 100 quintillion to do it, but you get the idea. We're, we're basically there. Let's just buy a few more of uh, whatever these are. There we go. Look at that number go up. There's 30 quintillion, 40 quintillion, 50. All we need is 100. We've made a total of 1 sextillion candies. 1 sextillion. That's like more money than there's ever been on earth ever. So yeah, that was quick. What do you spend 1.94 sextillion on? Let's make our clicker extra high. Then we're going to spend all this on a magic cursor. So we now make 357 quadrillion per click. And if we go like that, obviously we, I don't know what we're making per second. It's a lot of money. We could do it again, but I'm very satisfied. This is a good one. So we need to upgrade the earth by clicking on it, thereby taking all of its energy away. Well, I'm all about that. Let's get started. Earth clicker makes your clicks two times as powerful. Now we're getting two energy per click. And we've gained over 100 energy so we can make one single campfire. That's all that's fueling the world. And that just gives me one energy per second. So I don't even have to click anymore. I just want to. And look at that. We're already back over 200 so we can make our clicker twice as powerful. So we're getting four energy per click. Plus we're now getting an extra energy per second. I'm actually finding this clicking just strangely satisfying so i'm even missing a lot of these upgrades on the left like i had three built up and i didn't even notice life's good when you can just wake up drink coffee and click on things we'll buy a few more campfires so we're making uh several energies per second without doing anything at all 
our next earth clicker is going to be 2000. And since that will take a second, we could probably start using the auto clicker. That goes a little bit faster. There's 500, 2000. I like how this one's not at all limited by time. So we're going to double down on that. We're going to buy a few more campfires and we're going to turn the auto clicker back on and we're going to make even more money. There's 2000, there's 3000, there's 4000. We might break something today. So if we buy a farm, we get 10 energy per second without doing anything. And we can afford a few of those because I have an auto clicker that's on steroids. And for those of you that always ask, what auto clicker I use. It's just the Logitech one. It almost feels too easy to go this way. We're gonna upgrade the campfire some more. So now we're making, I don't know, not quite 100 per second, but it's probably something like 50 per second. And we can increase our uh, output if we get 20,000. So let's save up for 20,000. It's really only gonna take a second anyways. To be fair, this did take more than a second, but not much more than a second. And there's even residual clicks that I have to wait to... Uh, there it is, and Earth Clicker. Now we make 16 per click. I feel like this is basically speedrunning a clicker game, and I'm all about that, but now we're going twice as fast, so there's 10,000 again, and we can buy an animal farm. We want lots of animals, which means we definitely need lots of animal farms. There's an extra few that's gonna give me an extra like 400 per second. So now that number's going up very big by itself, pretty soon I might not even have to click, but I'm still going to. I'm always going to. I looked away for a second and suddenly we're up to 200,000. So we're going to go from 16 per click to 32 per click. So saving up another 200,000 is going to take half the time, but we don't really need 200,000. We want 200,000, but we want our windmills because these are going to give me 1,000 per second and we can buy at least one of them. So we're up to probably 1,500 per second and we haven't even started on any of these other planets yet. 700 150 quadrillion. I want some of these. No nillions. Here I was all proud of my numbers already. These are amateur numbers. We need to go much bigger. I'm gonna need a lot of coffee. And I've just realized there's an efficient way of doing this. I was turning my auto clicker off to buy things, but I can just leave it on and go like this and it pretty much buys whatever I need. I'm basically made of productivity today. Between that and the coffee, nothing else exists in my being. But I think also we need a factory produces 5,000 per second. So now look at that number going up and I'm not even clicking. And these basically pay for themselves because there's another factory upgrade so now we're making an extra 10,000 per second over what we just were and I thought we might be getting close to a prestige but that's gonna cost one decillion energy I don't remember exactly how big that is but I know it's pretty big but I've got time if you do here's another 10,000 per second I'm pretty sure the auto earnings are gonna be beyond my clicking pretty soon there's another 5,000 per second so we're up to, I think 25 or 30,000 per second now my clicking does that little bit of speed but not that much anymore we're actually auto earning more so so I'm going to need 2 million to step up my clicking game. I'm just taking all the energy from these planets. I'm technically making them energy, but I'm also taking it away again right away. Ever wondered what 10 million energy looks like? Neither have I, but we're about to see it. I kind of wish we got to see all the zeros laid out, but it still says 10 million, so I'm pretty happy with that. And I'm going to buy the earth clicker, so we're going to go from 32 to 64 per click, and then we're basically already halfway to the uh, next clicker. But since we saved our 10 million dollars in no time at all, let's buy some factories. I don't know how many we're going to buy. That's 5, 6, 7, 8. So we just added 40,000 energy per second. Probably not going to take very long at all now to get the 20 million I need for the Earth Clicker. I kind of just realized how cheap Mars is. It's only a million dollars. So we should probably go ahead and buy that because I feel like it's going to help us in a big way. Like I can get extra clicks for only 100,000 right now and I can get uh, extra clicks again. So up to 256 per click. Uh, and then if I buy an oil mine, we can get 120,000 energy per second. So watch how fast this number is going up. Watch how fast it's going up now and now and again it's even quicker so i should be paying more attention to how much these cost okay jupiter is 150 billion dollars uh which makes sense it's a pretty big planet so we're going to save up for that but i'm also going to be sure to fill out the planets as we go uh 5.25 million is definitely worth it every once in a while we'll jump back to earth to uh spend a few bucks on it i'm not actually here to help the planets i just turned them into a giant colossus of clicking and energy speaking of which uh there's 40 million so we're going to buy the coal power plant and that's going to give me 1.5 million per second so that pushed our income way higher so we're already making a few million dollars per second and that's going to go up very fast like we've already saved up uh 65 million dollars the next big upgrade is 500 million but that's going to give me 50 million per second we just broke 500 million which is half a billion but now we can buy a nuclear power plant so we click on that and now we're making 50 60 million per second and that's without clicking i mean we're back up to 500 million already i didn't even do anything and we're back to five so let's add another 50 million per second so we're now making i don't know 100 and 10 million per second. Even by the time I'm done saying this, we're already ready for the next upgrade. And we can also upgrade our clicker a few times. 
Maybe on Earth too, yeah. Okay, so now what Earth clicks up to? 4,000. Uh, and we just landed completely into the billions, so we'll maybe upgrade the Earth a little more. I'm not really sure why, but at least I want my clicker. Then we'll upgrade the nuclear power plant a few more times, and I don't know how much we're making per second, but it's hundreds of millions. Uh, our clicking's up to 8,000. Let's give it one more upgrade. Now it's up to 16,000, so when I go like this... I don't know if that really makes a difference compared to our income, but it's fun. And we're over 8 billion, that means I can buy margin technology? 750 million per second. So we're probably actually at about a billion per second at this point. So that means we can buy the next margin technology right away. And that gave us an extra 750 million per second. And again, and we can even buy a few of these maybe. That still gives us... Well, that was probably 500 million per second. Look at how fast the money's going up now. We're up to $120 billion, which is more than a little bit. Um, we're going to buy some more Martian technology with that. They are getting expensive, so at some point it's kind of less worth it. But because nothing here seems to change at level 10 or 25, it's generally better to go for the more expensive of upgrades. We could still do this a little bit just for fun. These basically make their money back as soon as I buy them. Like I can't afford it now. There it is again. I can't afford it again, but there it is again. And I just kind of want to be sure when we hit the next planet that we have a nice healthy start to it. I don't want to be waiting around. I don't have time for that. I'm a very busy person. Hmm, we saved up about $1.5 trillion, which is certainly more than I've ever had before. So instead of buying the next planet, let's get more of this technology. That's just going to help us with our income moving into the next planet. The money's definitely going up pretty quickly. Uh, I don't know, it's 30 billion per second or something thereabouts. I think now that I have another 1.5 trillion dollars, which is 10 times more than I need to buy Jupiter, we're going to buy Jupiter because then I can start with a hydrogen fusion reactor. That's going to earn us 100 billion dollars per second. I guess we'll buy some of these other ones too. We'll make our clicks more powerful, 32,000 per click. This is going to give me 5 billion dollars per second, which isn't really a lot. Not anymore anyway. It's cheap enough. We'll buy a few of them, I guess, because it's not even putting a dent in our number yet. Uh, we do want to make our clicks two times as powerful, so we're going to go back to the beginning because uh, they only cost $20 billion here. These usually seem so expensive. Uh, I'll even spend up to $2 trillion on those. This one is now up to $6 trillion. What are we at? One, one million per click? Let's do $2 million per click. Then we get to do it here on Jupiter as well, so we're now making $4 million per click. And in case we've forgotten, there's a lot of clicks. But even at $4.19 million per click, there has to be to be able to compare to our $8.5 million empire so far. Okay, we're up to $18 trillion. Let's buy some more hydrogen, hydrogen fusion reactor. These give us $100 billion each, so there's an extra $600 billion per second. Basically, mm, two-thirds of a trillion. That's that's pretty much going to help us save up for the helium fusion energy. And of course, that didn't take very long at all. 50 trillion dollars. And that's going to give us 4.5 trillion per second. So that over doubled our income just like that. Because we're back to 50 trillion dollars already. There's 60 trillion, there's 70 trillion. So you get the idea that's going to get really, really big. But then again, the next upgrade is 1.75 quadrillion. So it's going to even out. But I just keep sitting here clicking, buying these as many times as I can. That keeps putting our income up and up and up like without clicking right now uh we're making 50 trillion dollars per second something in that neighborhood which obviously is a lot so now we can go back towards earth and upgrade our clicking again do we want to spend 200 trillion dollars yeah we might as well it's clicking you can never have too much of it uh the next upgrade there's expensive but we're up to 33 million per click including this 66 and now our numbers are up to the quadrillion already i didn't expect to get there that fast we better spend some more on our clicking so we're up to 134 million per click and we need some more of this too we need more trillions per second that just added an extra uh lots uh 13.5 trillion plus another 4.5 plus another 4.5 so now our number is probably closer to 100 trillion dollars per second anyways we're at 1.4 quadrillion and that's going up pretty quick so quick in fact that we can now buy solar radiation 120 trillion per second so that's made our money go even more bananas and it's just going to keep going up and up and up we already have enough just about for the next upgrade another 120 trillion so at this point i'm basically going to go stretch my legs for a couple minutes and come back we'll see what kind of money we have and what we want to do with it a short coffee break later i'm up to 190 quadrillion dollars which is enough to buy thermal radiation this produces 2.5 quadrillion per second so we just added 7.5 quadrillion dollars per second 7.5 quadrillion energy per second whatever but that means in the 10 seconds since i bought that we've already made the money back it took that entire break to earn so we're going to buy a few more of those and maybe even some of these. So our clicks are up to 300 million, 600 million. And I really like these clicks. They're very important to me. Should I spend all of this money? Yeah, I should. We're up to 4.29 billion per click. And we'll even do the 200 quadrillion dollars here. So we're up to 34 billion dollars per click. 
and I definitely don't need to buy any of these anymore. Though they make it pretty high. Let's actually buy a bunch of the uh, factories. It takes a while to actually buy enough that we actually need. And it doesn't tell you how much they're giving you, but they're costing 24 quadrillion dollars each. Uh, upgrades we're clicking are, are now going to cost into the quintillions, which is a really big number. So for now, we'll just continue being satisfied at 34 billion. And at this point, it's also debatable whether or not it's worth it to buy about 20 of these or one of these given the price but I'm going to be lazy and just buy both. Actually, with the price increase, it's definitely worth it for the thermal radiation. So it's back to clicking and doing an occasional one of those. Three quintillion dollars later, we can buy another five thermal radiations. So that added 12.5 quadrillion dollars per second. I don't know when I started calling energy dollars, but that's just a default I go to. I always think big numbers must mean dollars. So they're dollars now. Come on, keep up. And there's another five quadrillion per second. So I don't know how many we're making per second. Let's call it 50 quadrillion dollars. And that does mean we can buy Saturn, not by a whole lot, but we can buy it. And I know these upgrades are going to be worth it. Maybe not so much a Saturn clicker at start, but when we get 300 quadrillion, we're going to get gas-powered energy. Why does our Saturn have such a budget ring? I paid a lot of money for this. I want the full thing. Anyways, for now, I'm going to get gas-powered energy. That's going to add 300 quadrillion per second. We're at that fun point now where it's hard to even understand the scale of how much we're buying and how much that's worth, but it adds up pretty quick. I think 300 quadrillion is roughly 1 20th of 6.6. .6. It'd be 1 22nd if that makes any sense at all. Then again, it doesn't have to make sense. I just need to keep buying. Don't ask questions. Then I'm also going to work backwards a little bit uh, to increase that clicking furthermore. So we're up to 550 billion. And again, I don't know if that really necessarily adds anything. Even at 1.1 trillion, we need like a trillion, trillion, trillions to make any difference at all. It's just kind of fun to see me getting 2.2 trillion per click and we're clicking quick. Then we should be able to buy probably another four of these, which is going to give us an extra 1.2 quintillion per second. I've upgraded my clicker again. We're up to 8.8 .8 trillion per click. Still not enough to make a difference there, but one day it might be. We've almost got enough for helium mining. Look how much that gives me. I haven't been paying attention to any of these uh, what the rewards. And there we go. Helium mining, 10 quintillion per second. So we're going from like 3 quintillion per second to 13 quintillion per second. And for the first time, we broke sextillion dollars. Sextillion energy, which means we can buy another three of those, which gave us an extra 30 quintillion. So I think we're up to something like 43 quintillion per second, and it sure looks like it. Make that 53. So at this point, 10 of these would equal three quintillion, but it would cost more than one of these. So you can see why I don't go back to these lesser upgrades. I always look for the next one. My ring isn't getting any bigger. I want my money back. So I'm going to sit here and pout for a while and save up the 10 sextillion we need. And it's time for Rhea Moon Mining. That's going to give me 750 quintillion per second. So watch this number jump again. And it's skyrocketing. With which means we can increase our income every 10-15 seconds so far and that's going to be a big increase. I just sit here and wait patiently for a few seconds and I can already buy another three soon to be four because it pays for itself. So I think actually a quicker strategy for doing this would be for me to leave my auto clicker right here. The upgrade is going to buy themselves as soon as it's ready and our income is going to go up and you see the pattern repeats itself. So I'll be back in a bit. Okay, I just came back to look and this next upgrade is actually no cheaper than this upgrade. And this one's going to get us considerably more bang for our buck. That's going to get us over 30 times better earnings. So we're going to click on one of those. So this by itself gives us 25 sextillion per second. And now we're up to 50 sextillion per second. So uh, we're up to, I don't know what it is, almost 100 sextillion per second at this point. But the next upgrade is going to cost 30 septillion so we're going to do the same thing auto clicker sits right here and we'll wait and now these upgrades are about a third of the next room for the pressure generator but we're definitely going to buy the pressure generator because it's going to earn us 1.2 septillion dollars per second which is nowhere near what we're doing now it is kind of sad taking energy away from planets like this though because there's no life on it anyway earth is the good one because think of all the people that are dying anyways pressure generator and we're up to um i don't know how much money this is over a septillion dollars per second and we seem to be making more while we're at it let's upgrade our clicker some more i don't know how much we've upgraded it because i don't really know where we started but we're going to make a lot of money per click that much i'm pretty sure of so one click equals 4.6 quintillion so that might actually add up somewhat compared to that so at 9.2 quintillion per click we can do a lot of clicks plus we can also buy the pressure generator and other upgrades so the income just goes up and up and up i think this would be a good opportunity also to see how high we can get the clicker uh we're gonna find ones that are a little more agreeable in price though that's debatable 200 septillion is also debatable so this is conceivably about as high as you would get the clicker anyway and it's 37 quintillion 
so it probably helps out a little bit but not overly considering how much each of these upgrades is worth and we need a lot of money for that next upgrade so what we're going to do now is sit here and click on pressure generator until we have a stupid amount of money it realistically won't even take that long i just want to be making such a stupid amount of money by the time we get to the next area that it kind of makes it easier i'm simply not going to be happy until i have all the energy in the universe and there's no life left at all i want it all i don't actually have any plans to use it i just kind of want it but i just realized our rate of income is so stupidly high now that we're well on our way to our next planet okay well at least to buy it we're not going to be able to afford any upgrades quite yet but it's not actually going to take that long water extraction this planet doesn't need water uh that added over 50 septillion dollars per second which is ludicrous compared to what we were making which is already a ludicrous number so let's get some more of that. And we could probably upgrade our clicker some more, which is up to 73 quintillion dollars. Then we can work backwards to the planets doing the same thing, upgrading our clicker just a little. They're mostly into the octillions now, which seems like a lot. But 300 quintillion per click at this many clicks adds up quick. Oh, but we're into the octillions of dollars anyway. I can't believe we used to work on things like a steam engine. The technology is so far advanced from that now. So now that we've got our clicking all the way up to 5 sextillion per click, we're going to do water extraction. And then we should probably upgrade the Uranus clicker. Uh, we're making uh, 1 octillion every few seconds, so that's going to add up pretty quick. And we only need 4.5 octillion to get our next upgrade anyway, so I should save up for that. The ammonium generator. 350 septillion dollars per second, so about a third of an octillion. And we very quickly saved up enough for methane mining. We have 120 octillion dollars energy, so this is going to give us 8 octillion per second as it is. Right now it would take us 8 seconds roughly to make this, now we're doing it every second. So we just made 8 times as much money. And we basically already have enough for the next upgrade, so now we just doubled our income. And you can see how this is just very satisfying. Those numbers get bigger and bigger and bigger. So we should work on our clicks now too that we're making this income. So we're making 5 sextillion per click. Now we're making 10 sextillion. So we'll go through the rest of the planets as best we can. Uh, this used to be a ridiculously big number. Now it seems like a small one. That one we're going to wait on because I don't have that much time. Well, then again, actually, this number is going up pretty stupidly fast. So we're now up to 300 sextillion per click. This one will be an easy one. Uh, no nillion we're not going to get to, but 1.2 septillion dollars per click. We would literally absorb the earth in one click. Um, I don't mean to sound stupid, but I'm going to. I didn't realize there was planets in the other direction. I kept wondering why we were buying planets as it got further away from the sun. Uh, the sun would make more sense because it probably has the most energy. So let's buy all of Venus uh, all at once. So thermal energy, atmosphere generator, oxygen creator. Why would we want that? These are all normally super expensive upgrades. But when you're this rich, it doesn't matter. So we're going to upgrade the Venus. This would have made the clicker so much better all this time. Because all of these are upgrading my clicks in a huge fashion. We'll buy into the... Um, octillions for now i guess even one of those so our clicks are now worth 6.3 octillion dollars uh then we'll also buy mercury 10 quadrillion so it's not cheap but we'll buy all of these uh including i'm just going to auto click the clicker upgrade and then we're up to 20 decillion dollars what okay this just got stupidly easy suddenly because i can just <laughs> look at our money now we're into undecillion already uh the sun obviously costs 69 sextillion dollars so we're going to go ahead and buy that and buy everything here nothing here is helpful enough we need to go back the other way so we'll buy all the clickers we can. Now we're up to 340 undecillion per click, which means the clicking makes more than our income by a stupid amount. Uh, so this kind of actually breaks the game because this amount is more than enough to buy the rest of everything, I'm pretty sure. Kind of wish I found that earlier. So here's the final planet, which is Neptune, 250 no nillion dollars, but we can afford everything here, no problem. So let's put all of our money into this because this will be the best upgrade there is to see if it even can move this number anymore. Uh, so, nope, even maxed out, it won't move this number one little bit. It's all about the clicking at this point. So, trade a zillion. Yeah, we're making a lot of money there. We're going to do this on all the clickers to see how high it actually goes. Uh, so, Earth Clicker turned into Infinity Million Energy. So, when I click on that, I don't... What is that? Sep Septendicillion. Septendicillion dollars. We're now into the Oct octodecillions and i could do the same with all the clickers it just turns into an infinity millions after a while because it doesn't want to make any numbers that big probably because it gets a little bit hard to even find the numbers that are that big so after literally maxing out the clicker it's just plus one it's circle it's plus one can we max out other things so can we max out solar panels uh it doesn't seem so I think I just broke the game. I think this is maxed. Uh, things are just not going anymore because it doesn't matter. We made so much energy, we destroyed the entire galaxy. I mean, it only costs a decillion dollars to prestige. We have like, I can't even describe to you how many of these we have. 
trillions of trillions of trillions of trillions. But if we were to play through this now, we'd have twice as much income, which is kind of bananas to think about it. But we're already so far ahead, it's all just kind of meaningless at this point. We basically broke everything. Nothing's relevant.